Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Guns N' Roaches Confederation All Kill. I'm joined with me for at least the first game, uh, Ice, our uh, Master's hey, Protoss. Hey, brother. How are we? Oh, this is fantastic. No, I don't have both my lights on. My, my, my face is an evenly distributed light. Uh, one oh. Oh, there we go. Now oh. we're professional. Now we have quality. And now we get to see sexy Casey. Both sides of my face. Illuminated. You know, I, I remember it was a it was a cast that Day Nine did once, or a, day, a daily he did, where he uh, he talked about the lighting. And since then, I, I I've just taken that cue and spent too much time talking about light every single <laughs> opportunity. Mm. So this is all kill. And if you're looking at the caster desk, you see the uh, remaining players. This is a three diamond, two master all kill. We have five players remaining on both sides. We're starting with the diamonds. Uh, we know a little bit about Flanders. Do we know anything about his opponent, uh, Vibrid? No, unfortunately, I haven't. I don't know anything about him. I don't even. I've, yeah, I don't even know what race he plays. So I guess we're gonna find out. All right. Um, I'd like to welcome anybody who's in the Confed uh, team to the stream. Anybody from uh, CTL Discord, because I post this everywhere. <laughs> Dirty advertiser I am. Um, so thanks for joining us. I thank you again, Ice, for, for making this less awkward. One one person casting, I've done it. It's not fun. Orion wants your stream link, babe. We gotta, you gotta link that across to him. Yep, there he is. So hopefully we have some good matches. And um, while TVP. I, I'm a little... Oh, TVP. Ooh. Um, how is... You, you play Honey Badger, but how is his P? His VP. His VP? His, his vice VP. president? His his versus Protoss. He's alright. I mean, I'm not gonna give much away. Not before the stream starts anyway. I know I know what he's gonna do on this map. He does it all the time versus Protoss on this map. Mm -hmm. Um actually beat Travis with it a few times, so and he's given me a run, so it's so yeah, um, it's a cheeky it's cheeky, but the way Honey Badger plays. What are we waiting for? Oh. Vibrid. What are you? We're just waiting for people to uh, ready up. Make sure they're all here. It's, yeah, Vibrid. Yeah, he had to restart. He had some. Looks like he had some issues. So it looks like uh, Orion is making sure he's good to go. Poking and prodded. So you know, from from the uh, from the GNR side of this, good luck, have fun, Confed. Hope for a good, clean fight and a lot of good games. Obviously, we're rooting <laughs> for a team. We are, um, but we will be as unbiased as humanly possible uh, for this. I'm, I, I'm looking forward to... He hasn't played this season. How can he not have played? He's... Oh, oh no, he's played. He's played. It's been, uh... It's just not showing up in the lobby. He's pl uh, diamond first season, so... Good for him. Congratulations on the promotion. Diamond three, yeah. So, that's always good. Mm -hmm. Looks like he played... Received... He's got a sporadic play history. It'll be interesting to see what he pulls forward, what he's got. So he might see some non-meta stuff come out of him. Ooh, that... Yeah, maybe. Oh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and push the StarCraft thing up. There we go. Uh, 49 levels in Terran and 50 in the other two. He's so close. He wants that level 150. And I he... remember when it used to be displayed there. Right, it used to matter. Yeah, man. That's just real. Let's see. Do we have a. Wait, what the hell? Alright, we're going into it, looks like. We are. Let's see if I got some quick statistics. His Protoss versus Terran's at 40%. That bodes well for GNR in this case. So, the first map is. Inks Age on Station. Oh, sweetness. Hmm. I noticed you. I noticed you. Notice me, Senpai? Did somebody say that? No, nice. Yeah, yes, sweetness did. Senpai Orion. Oh, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning! Oh, let me do all the cool things. Nope. Oh, nice. I haven't actually played with this overlay. So just excuse me while I fumbled with that. There we go, APM <laughs> button. Just right. press D. Press D for production. Oh, no, no. I got production up. It's just not D for me. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning in the top left-hand corner, representing the Confederation, the Yellow Protoss, Vibrid. And his opponent, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of King Sejong Station. 
It's the purple Terran representing guns and roaches. It is Honey Badger. Oh man, I am. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm messing with the zoom in and zoom out settings. I really need to read. I know. Those tilts. I'm, I'm following your camera. I was waiting for you to go to the bottom right. And you wouldn't do it. It's just like get down there. No, oh, yeah. no. I'll get you. I'll get you just when you need it. Don't worry about me. Uh, we do have a probe scout, nice and early. Is this fun? Is this fun times? I mean, he's at practice against fun times. Um, it was a pilot nope. scout. He's got a. Oh, I don't. He's have... just gonna be. No, he's just gonna be a pain in the butt and just try and kill an SCV. Yeah, that's a good thing, being a pain in the butt. And I'm gonna have to figure <laughs> out some buttons because I don't have the uh, like when I select something, it doesn't tell me what I've selected. Oh, you have to press tab. Oh well, whatever hotkey yours is. Oh, okay. And I had to tab back and forth between the production and the. Okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Maybe I'll go back to the standard. Nah, well, this one's it's easier to see for the viewers, I guess. But there's more. There's definitely more real estate. It's nice. I like it. Oh, we do yeah. have a Reaper fast expand out of Honey Badger. And just wait. Nexus is light from Vibrid. Um, this this probe got away, and this is what he wanted to do. Yeah, but he didn't do anything, and the, the Nexus should go down before the Cybernetics Core for a standard Nexus sure. expand. So, um, would we expect him to try to use this Cybernetics Core faster? Oh, he's just going to go faster warp gate. His Mothership Core should be out in time. He's not building it. Um, fast, fast warp prism if he was really trying to take advantage of his timings. Uh, no, I, well, I don't know what... He's not building the uh, Mothership Core. Maybe he thinks he doesn't need it. So, um, as you said, he does have a sporadic uh, play history. Um, so, who knows? Maybe he thinks that the Mothership Core can only steal only shoot out of the Nexus. Who knows? Um, but the Mothership Core is definitely something we need. I dare say it's a Protoss. But yeah, we see the fa uh, the Robo coming out. So, looks pretty standard for now. Stalker's on the wrong side. He's going to get that probe. But the Reaper comes in and is just going to say thank you very much. He's going to get a scout too if he's smart. Oh, there's oh, did he uh, a pretty... Yeah, he's seen the robo. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Does he, now, does, he, does he click it? Does he know to click it very well? I'm pretty sure he clicked it. Because yeah. he, he's seen it and then pulled back, so... Uh, we do have two marines coming out of the... Uh, bah! Refinery. Tech lab going down. Should see stem. Tanks. Tanks! Odd choice. Unless he's prepping this for some kind of, uh... No? No? Double Marauder, no Banshee, no Starport going down. I just don't like tanks in, in TVP, and maybe that's my bias. Alright, so, um, this is what I was ta telling about before. This is Flanders' go-to strategy on this map versus Protoss. Um, he puts the tank in this position by the rocks. <laughs> he, he can be a bit of a doodle about it, too. Like, he just, he likes to abuse... He's getting another probe. The Reaper's already done its work. It's done the scouting. It's got two probes. And, yeah, he's just... Well, he didn't get out. It would have been nice to get out, but in the end of the day, it's done what it needed to do. And Vibra going for a pretty... He's only going for two observers. Okay. Um, Still no Twilight Council. I was expecting to see a Twilight by now. You know, we've seen the, we've seen the multiple observers out of the Robo before. It's... I wouldn't call it a crutch. It's a good use of, of scouting information. Easy use of scouting information for the lower leagues. I like it as a, as a habit. This you level. need two observers, at least two. Who, who, we had somebody who made like four or five every time. I, I don't know. Who, um, who, I know Showtime. Uh, oh, from Mars. Um, it was Brody or Befallen. Yep. Um, and the reason he he used to make a lot of observers is because, especially versus Terran on maps like this, you need to know which paths they're coming from. This map is easily like, yeah, you need. If you don't have vision on the towers and you can't see the drops coming, your army can be caught way out of position so easily. Especially on... With, with a map like this, Terran's area of control with tanks, liberators, and widow mines can be abused so much. Especially if they siege up on that choke between your natural and what would be your fourth on the high ground there. Sure. And then... Uh, and also between your natural and your third, they can siege up there too, if your army's out of position because you haven't been looking or you're just lazy with your army positioning. So things like that, that can definitely bite you in the butt. So, um, I think we're going to be waiting for this second tank from Flanders, and then a move out will be coming. I dare say it won't be too far away. Maybe he's going to wait for Stim. 
Um, it's actually C on the way too, so maybe he's not doing the all-in I thought he was going to be doing. I mean, he's got a good position on this observer too. That's really gonna, a uh, vibrant's really gonna be here we, actually here we go. This. Yep. And um, looks like we have some lag from Confed. Uh, I experienced a little bit of it a second ago. We're playing on the eastern server. Sure. Game paused. We're not ref. Uh, we didn't set up ref. Nope. Right, He's watching, the, he was watching the porn. <laughs> Game resumed. Alright, so, um. Flatus is on Pulsar and. Whoa! I just got. I just, the, the screen just sort of paused. Um, Alright, so we have a warp prison moving out with Adepts in it, and we have, obviously, Flanders about to move out with his tanks and marines. And this is the unfortunate thing for Terran. I, I reg regularly found myself in this position. Unless he catches this, uh, it looks like he's going to see it with a Marine. Um, when you're on the other side of the map, and so is your opponent. But he's going to see it. What decision does he make? What does he decide to do? He, he, he should go. He should go. The, the Protoss has to w realize that he's been seeing. The Protoss should be going home. Flanders has the army to kill him. So that's the scary part for the Protoss. The Protoss has seen his army. So I think the Protoss is making the right call. Oh, he's actually not going home. He's going to still try and do damage. He's trying to, try to Flanders, Flanders needs, yeah, Flanders needs to leave stuff at home, which he is. Good. Well, when I say Flanders, it's Honey Badger, but for some reason, Discord, his name yeah. is Flanders. Yeah, Honey um, Badger. And we now, what does Vibrid have to do to hold he this has to. He has to work, work out where um, Honey Badger's army is. He's more focused on this war prism, and he's not careful. He may even lose that. But there's an army at the front of his... Well, in between his third and his natural, and he's going to lose his third. These tanks are going to be able to siege up, and he's going to have to come out. Those two tanks, there's not enough damage there from the Protoss. The Protoss can't engage that, no. I think he knows now. He's got three or four gateways that he needs to power up. Yep, he's getting them, he's warping them now, or transforming them now. He's going to have this. An Glaives, army in a few it, cycles. Glaives is about to finish. It's a very small window to, to close this game, and Honey Badger needs to realize this. I don't think Honey Badger has to kill him. He's even on workers and has a third CC. Oh, huge pickup if he gets warped. Absolutely got it. deadly. Might as well have left that on the other side of the map for harass. But here we have two tanks. Pop it on the low ground. Ooh. This is this is almost over. The tanks can wipe this out. Yeah, and I think that's it. Honey Badger's just going to clean this up. I right? just clear him up here. Yeah. The tanks have gone untouched and the immortals are dead. But we have nothing to support these tanks anymore. Uh, yeah. Depending on how he engages this, he could across. get them. He's got nothing rallying across. Honey Badger should be rallying his army across. He, he's shot down the war prism. He's seen that he shot the war prism down. And rightfully so, he, he pulls back. That's all he needs to do is pull out of there for now. Mm. Wait for the rest of his army to come. Keep S, keep SCV production up at the third. Keep your macro going strong. And oh, he he's going to be caught game. off guard here. This is not good. These tanks need to be on the ground or retreating. A great cleanup by Vibrid. Absolutely fantastic way to respond to this. I recognize the that tanks he had the advantage. We do have some units streaming across the map, though. It may put the Protoss in a very dangerous position. Yeah, if he stays out there, he can't afford to lose that Immortal. That Immortal is key. And there's another one on the way. He needs to keep these Immortals alive. He's trying to take a third and build more gateways at the time. He's slow warpings, too. That's, that's That might be a big mistake, actually. A warpings? Yeah, he's, well, he was warping in a depth in a slow part. He wasn't doing fast warpings. And, I have and an no observer's going to get out um, it's... There we go. Good drop on the tanks. He's got to pick up those immortals if he's going to get any damage. And there they go. There's uh, one down. S unit's still streaming across the map here from Honey Badger. He's got enough to clean this out. That third is not going to get up. And the longer that Honey Badger can suffocate Vibrid out of a third, the quicker this game ends. As like, Vibrid's he... going to run out of money. And it looks like he is he's... keeping up on his macro. Uh, the third is going to bring him some, some gain. We have two more tanks joining the fight here as they roll across the map. Uh, Vibrid's in a difficult position here, but the Immortals, he needs to keep up that Immortal production, um, stay on top of his upgrades, and just pick the right fight. Well, we look at this, his upgrades, he's already on the way to plus three. Ooh, bad stem, he's, way too early. He's got Blink on the way, yeah, I think Flanders, well, Honey Badger was getting a little bit jumpy. Um, Blink's still a mile away, so he needs to, 
I don't know if he knows that there's no blink. Obviously, we we know that, but he may not. Um, but the tanks just do so much here, and this is the problem. As long as you're in the right positions, and he loves that medevac meta tank drop. Uh, he's really gonna keep his and marines alive good. though. He's got to pull up there. Never mind. His marines are absolutely fine. GG. GG. Oh, and a mana mule. Wow. Well played. Aw, oh, don't do that. It's uh, hard. <laughs> one zero to uh, GNR. So right. Flanders gets us off to a good start. You get the same caps with me one longer. Yeah, man. Going to just. I like Vibrant's idea. I like. I like the. Um, I like the fast upgrades. Unfortunately, he, he. I don't think he realized what was actually coming at him. Um, like, he, I, he's seen it with the observer, but I, I don't think he realized how much of a threat it could have been to him. And then losing that warp prism, he had four depths in it, loses the micro potential, and it sort of it, it just went downhill from there. He lost his mothership core without putting down an overcharge. I'm pretty sure as well. So without fighting an overcharge and without having, um, uh, the warp prism for micro. Potential, then yeah. I I gotta give it to Vibrid. It was it was a it was a solid game. There were moments there where I wasn't sure how the the fight was gonna turn out. Uh, well played, honestly. Yeah, it was. It was well played, and I think he made the right decision with the with the warp prism two to bring it home. He just you need that for the micro potential with the um with the immortals. And I feel that if he hadn't lost that warp prism and was able to micro his immortals out of the way and other stuff out of the way, he would have been on fire, but... Yes, challenger picks the map, or loser picks. Good, yep, and then, uh, that was more of a prompt to get them to... Uh... <laughs> get them to hurry up. It's, it's, a, it's actually, really, it feels really good to have another... Uh... All kill, actually. I think GNR shines in the all kill. I think we have players that are really good in this format. Um, so I'm really excited about how this how this is going to play out. So Next up for the Confederation seems to be someone named Vala. Um, they've been in Diamond before, so... Again, a sporadic play. Um, he's been seven-time Diamond. But uh, he's only Diamond 3 at the moment, so... Went ahead and switched. Ooh, WCS game heart mod. Did we have that yeah, we time? had that. Yeah, so when we did, so um, when a glaives was finishing, it come up on the corner and it said that there was nine gla nine seconds till glaives is done, and then it had the um, it had if probes were dying, it would tell you how many are dying. So. When did we have that last game? Yes. Did we? I didn't see it. I didn't know. So I put it yeah. on streamline one v one. We're gonna see. I'm gonna cycle through the streams to see which one I'm more comfortable with. The best uh, one was the one you just had, but um, I don't. I don't like that I can't keep the production up and select buildings. That's a, that bothers me. <laughs> I had to keep going back and forth. Hey, I want to see what this building is. I want to see what's going on. Where's the production? So you can see that on production though. Like when I hit, when I select, like if I click a building, if I click a warping building, it didn't tell me what it was. But the production tab does. If I'm, well, yeah. If there's only one thing. All right, here we go. Looks like the next map is... Oh, TVT on Apotheosis. Wow. We could be in for a mech game. I don't... I don't want... Does he TV mech? T uh, no, no, I mean, Vala may mech. He was a loser. He picked mm. this map. And here he is spawning in the bottom right-hand corner. It's our Red Terran representing the Confederation. It's Vala. Vala. Spawning in the top right-hand corner, the Purple Terran representing Guns and Roaches. Top left-hand corner. Top... Top corner. <laughs> Honey Badger. I think there's even a button for this. Let's see, Shift One. Oh, that's not how this one's working. All right, let's get that up. See everybody. Yeah, this isn't okay. Split one v one. We'll change it up. Jim grins asking, "Where are the mods? What are the mods?" Uh, narrow for... crawl. Are we asking for mods of the uh... mods for my Twitch? Oh, guess first out of Vala. Oh, down here, down here. Gas first. Um, okay. Versus Rax first from Honey Badger. Now, I'm not sure what Vala's gonna pull out. Double gas. Double gas. This is either now, something. Now, Bjorn, Bjorn, Bjorn done something very similar to this, where he'd go double gas, get to a certain amount, and then pull out. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I can't remember exactly. I'm not a Terran player, so I can't comment on that. But um, again, I think this is something we got to look at. 
the double gas is coming out. I I did say I think he's gonna try and play mech on this map. Like there's only one reason you pick this map as a Terran for Terran versus Terran is because you want to cut it in half and play mech. Um, so or he's got something planned that I haven't seen before. So I don't we know. We are we'll seeing a it looks like three racks Reaper coming out of Honey Badger though. He said he's been practicing this, and we're seeing. I mean this might. Interesting choice on this map, but to be fair, he hard counters this because if you can micro with your Reapers and you if you're producing three Reapers at a time versus Hellions, you're gonna win. If you can micro properly. And it depends on what comes out of here first. I don't think this is you don't do Hellions with this, do you? You have so much gas. Oh, he's only actually mining one from each. Interesting choice. Yeah, he here. pulled out. This is what Bjorn done. He pulled out, and he goes into Hellions. Hellion Reaper. So what do you use a double gas for? Why not only take one gas? Get the. Uh... I don't know. I think it's to throw off if someone scouts. Hmm. I think I'm not sure. Maybe it's to get the the Reaper and the Fast Factory again. It could be. It might be that. Um, but it is going to be Reaper Hellion versus Three Rex Reaper. This is going to be a lot of micros. Going to be a lot of control. Um, who's better? We are getting uh, expansion. There it is. This is Fl Flanders making it. There we go. I I don't like that. There's not a scout from either. I I understand why Honey Badger isn't scouting, but uh, I think Vala needs to be across the map here. And there he goes. Uh, I don't know why Honey Badger's going the long way either. That's a little bit. He ne okay, so the point of the three Rex Reaper, you got to get across the map. These Reapers going to come across, or oh, they're going to meet each other. So um, no. Nope, barely. I'll tell you. I mean, yes, you're absolutely right. But it's something that's very difficult for a new player to really understand is the difference between thirty seconds, um, the the timings and how tight they are. They really do matter when you got to cut straight across the map. Um, he is going to oh, delay he's pulling this. everything back. That's is that all army key? Is that that, yeah, I think I, that's a panic. That's, that's not, yeah, he's pulling back every single one of his Reapers. So that's not the right move here. Again, that's target five Flanders, and he didn't target five. You don't want to be on uh, that side of the map when you're Reaper, Reaper rushing. No, oh no, so your opponent now has an opportunity. He's gonna throw down Valid back home, actually, just continue pumping guys. Can put out Liberators, yeah. Oh, this game's over. It's in a difficult position. I'm not really. He needs to, he uh he's got okay, so he's not teching, he's still building Reapers. Yeah, he's got an expansion that's been delayed massively, but there's already Liberators and Widow Mines on the way. Yep. Um there's gonna be a bunker out by the time these Reapers make their way across the map. The hold. He's finally pulling out now, he's gone into Tech Lab and two reactors onto the barracks and a factory coming down, but again I think he's too far behind. Work account he's behind. Where do you put this liberator expansions. at? Where do you oh where where do you place him? Uh, in your enemy's base, straight across the map. If if you've, your opponent's got three racks reaper, there's no way to hold it. To liberator, he's he's got a, a bunker for himself. Plus widow a widow mine. mine that's just finished. Oh, oh good. Didn't get down. Snap on a widow mine, but there's still a bunker. There's a. Flanders needs to realize, or Honey Badger needs to realize he needs to do damage. He's he would have seen the liberator because he was controlling the reapers. He knows he needs to do damage. And Vala doing the smart thing, pulling up his CC, making sure no more damage can come. Flanders is supply block too, that doesn't help. Getting a Widow Mine. Oh, I would have liked to have seen him float across and get a fucking Cyclone out. But... Looks like we have some friendly banter going in in the Twitch stream. Scrubs. Wow. <laughs> Liberator's going to go down. Flanders got out the right time and he's still denying this expansion from Vala so that may be a thing but four workers going down with that push like with that liberator the liberator gets out alive too he, he needs to get a starport out he needs to, to get his economy up uh, I mean he went for he the engineering to, bay but the marines were he needs here. to keep he needs to keep denying that natural and Absolutely. he needs to be macroing at home and doing it himself another liberator out here too at home this time for Vala so Vala can hold that uh, depending on the position you just got to move these out of range Oh, there they go. He secured this natural with the a light a light squad. We'll call it a light squad. <laughs> are we are we gonna go to a standard game now? Um, it depends I don't on the know. aggression. If Vol is aggressive enough, I think he takes this. Um, I think he takes this fight. But if he's not aggressive enough, if he doesn't utilize the liberator advantage, liberator is coming into the natural now. Oh. There it is. Gonna get more damage now. That's 200 minerals he doesn't have anymore. He's gonna get out of there. Smart leak is out of there. Marines over here protecting the flanks. Uh, looks like the Reapers are coming in again. They get a few bombs out. 
Oh, good place. Oh, the winner mine. Oh. Uh, so one thing I'm noticing, Bala's not making tanks. Tanks would seal it. I would like to see it out of them. But Honey Badger is. Honey Badger is actually taking a good spot in this game. Um, his work account's really low. He's not making SCVs. He's going for an all-in, I think. He oh, needs to be making that's SCVs. That's a little bit of lag. That would of mine is money. That's a great shot and great placement. Uh, very unexpected. Gives him the high ground vision. And the Reapers are done. Now he can do what he wants to do with these Liberators. Move them across the map. And he can close out this game. There's no more pressure on his side of the map. If he places these in the right positions, gets all the army where he needs it. Um... Aside from this small supply block, I think he's got a, a good thing going. 21 marine, 20 marine, 21 marines, two tanks at a widow mine versus 10 marines, one tank just finished, and three liberators. So, um, and a few hellions too. I think, you know, one hellion, one reaper. This is where it's going to happen. This is where we decide the game. I do like the tank. Uh, but with half of his army, there we go, on the other side of the map, this widow mine, I like that it's providing coverage but everything's so spread out and he's got to know it's pushing in his front now he needs to pick everything back up and put it where it needs to, where it needs to get the damage done i think he just crawled forward with liberators just like that absolutely perfect execution here by confed yeah you just leap leapfrog forward and when the marines come in to snipe him off oh, he, ah, yeah, he should have had his he needs a viking position. he needs a viking he needs a viking get a viking Absolutely, this is where it's all happening. We have in production combat shield and stem just now coming out from Vala, so that's gonna, Actually, he's, gonna... he's waiting for the stem timing, but well, Honey Badger, Badger pushes up, the limit. Up. He's gonna clean it up too easily. That's power of stem, ladies and gentlemen. But the, look, look at the work account. This is where this game is gonna be told. Honey Badger needs to get something done now. It's 23 workers to 41 right now. Absolutely, mules aren't this good, especially when your opponent has the same capabilities and has taken a third. Uh, let's take a look at production. Yeah, Honey Badger's not producing, and he's, he's, his money's going high. His macro's just falling apart. And I, I, I mean, I like the move. I like the aggression. But behind it, he's not doing what he needs to do to sustain anything. If this force does not clean it up, we're going to have a he hard has, time here. Yeah, he has to kill him. Take a look back here at Vala's base. Uh, he's still constantly producing. He's constantly producing. Well, he's got... Vala's... Vala's army's very low in numbers compared to Flanders. Um, or Honey Badger, sorry, I keep calling you Flanders. If Flanders gets the right engagement, he can win this game. His army's definitely big enough. Uh, I he mean, just has to be smart. He's got, okay, so Vala's got the tank advantage if he gets him in the right positions. Uh, he's going to load it up. And he's going to try to, I think he's going to try to push up the front door. No, he's no. not. No. All right. There we go. That's exactly where he needs to be. Great liberator placement. That's going to take out a tank. And unseed nice, as well. Yeah. Great micro. Full health. There's the Vikings you want to see. Absolutely denied this attack. Well, absolutely fantastic job. I don't know why I, why Honey Badger picked that angle. I think that was the wrong angle to pick. Um, I guess he didn't know there was a liberator there when he first moved in. You, you kind of think but, that's um... the, the enemy's weakest location, right? That They're obviously defending the front. The side is at least going to be minimally manned. He scanned it. He knows what's there. Uh, this is still the force I think he needs to go back home with. He's still not producing SCVs. He's still on, he's on 31 to 50. Yeah, he's he's working cats too low. Um, slowly going to lose it. Slowly going. This is this was his game to lose for a minute there. Yeah, so much for the armies. Uh, yeah, um, as I said, eventually it was he had to he had to push in and do damage, and he chose the wrong route, and that may have just ended him the game. Ended the game for him, so he's starting to get a little bit of production, but he's a bit behind. The money is getting a little high for Vala. Maybe this is an opportunity to seize if he goes full economic. Uh, we do have two medevacs have picked up, and they're moving across the map to join the rest. I of don't the think Honey Badger knows is the third. Mm. We have a nice little scout here on the far left side. Wouldn't mind to pick up anything. Maybe coming. Oh, in that there's direction. a drop coming in. Yeah, there's a drop coming in. A drop running right into a widow mine. Yeah, or the third base. Oh, nah, he's gonna oh, miss the widow mine. Skirt it. There's also a drop. There's two medevacs loaded up in outside the main there. Yep. Absolutely. Hoping to pull his opponent out of position, drop in the main, do some damage. Um, but I will be dropping. He needs to get out of here. This is. You've done your damage. You pulled him apart. Get away. But. 
Looks like he's gonna lose everything for, for not the damage he needed. Here comes the two medevacs, dropping right into yeah. a tank fire. He's on the production, but he can't kill that tank. Oh, that tank is cleaning him up. That's a great placement there for the Liberator. Their army comes home to help clean this up. Um, and that should be it. I mean, this was just too much of your force split into too many different areas. Uh, he still hasn't expanded and taken his third, and he's, he's finding himself in a very precarious position here. Guns and cash money. Hey, thank you, Holy Smiths, for joining us. Oh. Yeah, Justin's Bit of Justin here. love. Yeah, see? He comes and hangs out with us every once in a while. I would love to see more confidence in the chat. You gotta, like, if you're gonna have two sides rooting for each team, you should have some equally loud and obnoxious voices on both sides. Well, I'm pretty sure her rise loud and obnoxious enough. Oh, burn. We have, um, some, we, anyway. have some, we have some pretty loud and obnoxious people on our side, let's be clear. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look, quick, um, look. Let's take a quick count of Honey Badger's production. Um, nothing's producing. Is his money that low? His money's that low. His economy is his first base is completely mined out. Uh, he needs to pull those SCVs over. Uh, we could have an army coming up the right hand side. Just a small force of Marines and Medivacs. Uh, may yeah, just deny this uh, third and go home. It's a bit of a strange hit squad, but you're, you're right. He may just deny it. There's nothing over there to stop him. And the Marines are just going to come in and go, ha ha, mules, thank you. And if he picks this up and goes home, he loses nothing, he gains everything. Um, the Vikings are there going to start wailing away on the Medivac side, so that's the problem. Yeah. He's going to lose it all. This is a common oh, there's problem. A drop oh, there's absolutely. A Coming outside the window mine. Oh, I didn't get to see how much damage it did. It hit the, all it did was hit the um, Medivac. Yep. I almost got it. The um, This is a common problem with Terran. I find that they, they do the drops, they do well, but they don't get home. They sacrifice the drop. Where a good Terran at a high level... Plays his drop and he gets home and he gets out of there, saving every all the units and doing a, a, you know minor damage. We try to overkill. We try to get everything done. <laughs> oh, counter stem! Absolutely don't want to be throwing your workers. He's pulled the workers for this fight. Um, this is exactly what Vala wants in this. He does not want you to have workers. We take a look at the unit tab. Yeah, twenty-seven to sixty-four. Uh, this is it's seam rolling. Yeah, uh, Vala should just push the person and kill bye him. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Can he make it? Can he stop it? There he goes. He's gonna get that supply depot. You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised we have so few tanks on the field. We do have double tank production, double Viking production. That's good. That's exactly what we need to see out of a Terran for Vala. On the other side of the map, we have... This game could go for a long time. Oh, no, I, was, I don't think Vala's looking at pushing out anytime soon. This game could go for a while yet. It depends. I mean, these these five oh, tanks. Now yeah, now he's moving out. As long as he doesn't drop into the, the kill zone of these five tanks, he cleans this up. It's a, an engagement. It's all about how Honey Badger can take this next engagement. And he's not in a, he's not in the position he needs to be. The second, the natural, not where you want to defend. You need some vision out on the map. You need to put some Marines in places so you can see the enemy coming. And then you need to position your tanks. The siege here in the natural, I like it, but your opponent's not going that direction. The third's gonna die again. Three three on the way as well for Vala. Vala's just so far in front of this game. If he lo if Vala loses this game, um, fuck. <laughs> it's his game to lose. It's it's it only only this mistakes he makes. Be, yeah, biggest throw if he loses right now. And Flanders is just gonna go across the map and say, Are we gonna it. base trade the Terran? Yeah, well. Oh, we're gonna sacrifice those to the, uh. The Greater God. Greater God. Uh, this Widow Mine might actually come into play now. I wanna see it. He's a bunch of Marines on this. He's taken down his, his rocks twice. But this is a good force. Oh, this, uh, this Widow Mine down the bottom left corner. <laughs> it's gonna get the Viking. Oh, well. Could have done so much more. He's going to take a fifth behind this, and the army's just going to go right around the production. Decides he wants to go straight for the economy. Gives his opponent time to move his army in position, pull his drones. Looks like the tanks are setting up on the far distance. He doesn't want to save the base. He wants to prevent any further destruction into his natural. Uh, I'm, I would like to see some movement of, of the armies up to the north, but we have starports and command centers flying across the map. <laughs> Proxy starport at the... 16 minute mark, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I 
I am actually a little bit scared now for Vala because he's not moving in. Now Flanders isn't moving in. Okay, so in this situation... Oh, no, don't lose Absolutely your tank! Absolutely oh! not the thing you need to do right there. <laughs> oh, and he's still streaming oh. units across the map. That's a move command Marines. There we go. Stimming all army key. I can see it. I can feel the pain. Um, oh, oh, back in the I? natural, he's got three tank... Vala's got four tanks drop, pounding away in CD natural. Marines... And it looks to be a little bit of hotkey army control on both sides. They're struggling to keep this many units in position in the right, uh, oh, using the right things. Such a bank. Such a bank. Ballas bank, yeah. He's just got to secure this ramp and he can do what he wants. There he goes. There's the uh, liberators you need. You put a couple SCVs on there and repair. Uh, back home, Honey Badger is getting beat up with a single Marine taking a shot at his engineering bay. Uh, I don't think he realizes he could have canceled that upgrade. It's gonna finish. It is gonna finish. <laughs> the Marines just came out of the barracks and ran into the other Marines. Um, it is 38 I, supply I, to 149. Yeah, I don't know what. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. This game's over. And he's probably gonna get Mana Mule too. I, I would. If, if I was Vol, I'd Mana Mule. I don't think he's got any OC. Oh, he's got an orbital command with full energy, so maybe. Oh, there's 28 to 134. The production tab still making tanks and Vikings. Um, what is it? What? Honey what, Badger's what are, got <laughs> command centers in weird places. So, what's Honey Badger's thinking right now? Like, why is he still in the game? I think he believes there's the GG. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Confed, tying up the score. All right, who are we gonna bring in? Who is it? Oh, Bradley back. He is Bradley. I think Grimley comes back. Bradley. Um, uh, let me go find out. You stay here. So, Justin, you let me know. I want to see this tournament. Um, I don't know if this. I'm, I can. I would like to watch or spectate. And if I'm done this, I'll pretend I know how to cast CS:GO. That would be a lot of fun. Um, send me the info, please. Um, all right, so we're tied up 4-4. A great fight by Vala. Um, excited to see him next round. See who GNR decides to put forward. Let me actually leave the game so they can invite me to the new map. Hmm. Damn. That's a group of people. All right, so I like that observer. Let me try default. No, I think I've seen default. Let me try streamlined. I, I think I prefer CTL, but we're not CTL. I don't want to use that all the time. Uh, have they brought in? I see who's up for GNR. Friendly. Question mark. Hmm. Alright, Ice, what did you learn, brother? It's Jim and then Frost. Jim and Frost, alright. Good fight. Just a party. Let's knock, uh, we gotta knock. So, are you casting with me or is Slender's casting with me? Um, I'm, I'm happy to keep doing it. Between you two. I'm enjoying it. I mean, he can come down and third cast if he wants, but... <laughs> no, I can't have that much volume. Let, let him know that we'll bring him in next game, and I'll have you cast one more. Alright. Alright, stream is ready. Looks like it's Frost L E Z V T GNR's Chim versus Vala. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um I'm actually surprised that Chim took Frost. Um Were you hoping I to know... keep it for yourself? 
Oh, I don't even know if I'm playing yet. Cactus is around, Cruel's around. We've got plenty of uh, house peddlers around. We've got plenty of masters around. But um, the reason I'm surprised she took it is because she's playing versus Terran. Mm. We'll see what she like, has planned. Yeah. I mean, Jim's Jim's smart. She's she she took yeah. our 100 or our uh, our October ladder challenge game, hundred dollars for three hundred and something games in two weeks. Two hundred and something, three hundred something. Um. Yeah, I can't remember. Plays a lot. Fantastic player. Um, obviously, we're always rooting for GNR, but uh, I think she's got a great shot here. So here we go. Loading in on the bottom right-hand corner, the red Terran representing Confederation. It is Vala. And his opponent spawning in the top left corner of the map. It's our blue zerg representing Guns and Roaches. It is Chim. Chim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us here today. This is a wonderful four-player map. It allows for heavier macro play, some cheeky proxies, and a lot of avenues of approach. Yeah, you, you giggle. Your mass oracle I've seen you do on this map several times. Uh, works really well. Even when we know it's coming, it's hard to defend. Uh, what do we expect? And having known, we'll talk on this side of the map, having known a little bit about Chim, what would you like to see her do? If she macros well, she's capable of pretty much anything she wants. Um, whether she wants to go Ling Bay Mute or whether she wants to play a Road Traffic or Lurker style that she loves. Um, just comes down to the way she's playing and she was playing right earlier on tonight. So I think she's going to go Ling Bane um, and then we'll see from there. I think you start off with the last um, double, e, uh, double Ling upgrades. Um, wait for your Bane Ling Nest and go from there. But I don't know what Vala's plans are. Wait, whoa. What is Vala doing? Well, let's take a look back over here. It looks like he's got two barracks. He's queuing them. Uh, rather rally, rally him to an okay point. This might just be a 2 one, one off of one base. Or it's actually, it couldn't be Reaper. There's not enough gas on the field for Reapers. So we'll see in a few minutes. That's about to be a third barracks. That's about to be a... No, it's not. No. But it was. It might, might put be the safety barracks. In the spot. Safety barracks. Um, you know, I'd really like to see from Vala. We saw some... Third barracks. Oh. Oh, okay. It's three racks, Reaper. On Crossborns on Frost? It could, um, it could be done. Um, I mean, there's plenty of area to jump up. He's taking a guess. He's taking a shot, hoping yeah. she's up here. And that could be what closes out the game. Now, Val is a strong player. I've played Flanders, and Flanders is strong. And Flanders was decisively defeated uh, in that last match. And I think he's a match for Chim. I think this is a great matchup. This is probably one of the closer games we should see seeing as we'll see how this reaper goes right it's hard to call a reaper game close but uh tim's definitely taking the macro approach she's got speed coming just a couple safety lings how she's gonna she be gonna fine respond to this she'll be fine she doesn't know it's three racks until she'll see okay the way she'll know this second reaper will come in and if her overlord sees it mm, you gotta be think, you really gotta he be thinks watching. she's bottom left he thinks she's bottom left Oh, he knows she's he's, not. He's just he nah, now he realizes the cross one, and, and the other one didn't see it. No. Nah. Okay, so at the moment she doesn't know speeds just over halfway down. She's still droning. This is the dangerous part. Like as soon as she realizes what's going on, she needs to react. Now she sees two reapers. She two, two is normal. She's three reapers. Three, three, three reapers. is where you respond. There we go. And on the production tab, oh, I like this production. Four more links on the way. Speeds continuing. Uh, spending her money. She's got to spend the money. She's got to keep her links alive. She's still building links, her and Jax are fine. I'd like to see her bring that queen down from the main and build another one in her, in her main. Um, that oh. queen is absolutely necessity. Is she building any spines anywhere? No, but speed's finished. Speed's done. And this is where this game could end. Oh, like... most of us around. There are some great hits from the Zerglings. Fantastic use. And this is the problem. You, ca you can't really go 3 Rex Reaper. Crossborn on Frost, especially last like he he didn't even send an SCV out to scout. I guess he can't afford to with the build. Yeah, you, you have to go fast. But, but Beyond Beyond pulled this off. This is exactly what Beyond did. He he built Beyond it. it he got that. himself an economic advantage. He didn't try to finish the game, but he forced the, the Zerg. He forced Dark to to uh, to, to stop Beyond droning. Two, though. To do what? Two racks. He did two racks, but not mean, three. We can't expect everybody to do it just like Beyond. No, I guess not, but, um... Alright, so... She's taking a third. She's sending links behind this. She's put herself yeah. in a fantastic position. 
but it depends on how she engages this, I guess. No more Reapers actually still coming out. That surprises me. It also surprises me. 18 more Lings in production. She's going to see this potential move. This Overlord's going to be fine, I believe. Too many Lings on the battlefield. There's a surround. Or oh, not one going down yet. And this is a problem. She needs to be careful. Yep. Still Reapers coming out. I'd like to see his gas going into a factory and more barracks. Look at his minerals. He needs more CCs. He needs to be spending that money. Yep. Supply Bane depot is finally coming down at battle. <laughs> Not speed banes, though. It's still a very difficult unit to utilize in this position. They will break down that's, the supply depot wall. Yeah, that, that's, just, that's the fun part. And he's, he, what he's got to do, he's got to survive through this transition. He's got to transition to higher attack, get himself secured. He's got to tank out on the field. But we Seems have links. Drones. Oh, no. She's, she's just going to all in this. Let's see, let's watch this decision making process. Do we ever see drones? Does she ever decide this is not the time to all in? She needs more banes. She needs more banes. She needs more banes. And they're gonna crawl. Oh god. Crawling banes. Where's she going? Back home. There's two queens. There's Why? layer tech. There's the drone. She's decided this was not the time to all in. She needs to secure unadvantage. We take a look at the unit tab. She's in front of workers, and she's her army's definitely bigger. Yeah. Um. But if I was Valor, I'd be building more CCs, I'd be building more SC, I'd be, oh, he's still constantly building, there's the next CC about to go down now, so. Yeah, he's up in his production Stim's right now. Stim's gonna be so late, though, that's the, ma that is a massive problem, Stim's gonna be so late. And it only and matters if there's an engagement, there's it no looks like there base. will be an engagement. Where are the Banes? Give me Banes. You want Banes? They're gonna waddle, they're waddling, but well, she needs more. I need more Banes. She's got gas for it. Oh, oh these Reapers are in a menacing spot, though. They are. Oh, she's not responding quick enough. There we go. Just a couple seconds in. Build more Banes, Shim. <laughs> I hope she can't hear you. Well, she's not in this chat channel, so... Oh, no. <laughs> she's building more Lings, that's not Banes. I need more Banes from you, Shim. Alright, so... Don't go home, build Banes and just kill him. Val is doing a great job, he's doing what he needs to do. Uh, he's gonna find himself a little behind economically but With a couple tanks and a couple reactors refiners. I got them refineries earlier reactors. You're gonna be fine She's playing too passive. She built that many links. She needs to be doing something with them Needs to be I need to be seeing more tech more drones you're either gonna go one way or the other You're not you're just gonna sit in the mid ground. She's building up bank um, she's not taking a fault. She's not building. She's not doing anything right now. I don't I, know what she's doing. I think she lacks the information to be comfortable. Eleven drones coming out now. Uh, Spire on the way. I like the choice of the spy. She needs to deny this third. If she wants to win this game, these links that she's got, this is how you use them. Kill that third. Make sure that third doesn't get established. I think she's because unsure of herself at this it. point. She's good. She thinks she's she thinks she's ahead. She's gonna try to secure it at home. She's gonna sit there trying to be safe. She's you still need to be. Oh, and you're still absolutely need to be right. active on the map. I think she's she's definitely making a mistake here, um, but we'll see um, what happens. She's taking a fifth too in the bottom left hand corner of the map. She's been watching me play a fair bit, I guess. <laughs> well, you do see a couple of medevacs. Uh, he's trying to build up his army, secure his economy here. He needs to transfer some workers. Uh, he's getting his fourth refinery up. There we go. We've loaded up a few units. Interesting. All right, she's seen the third. Now she should react. She should be pulling all her lings down there. We do have a uh, small unit of Reapers coming around the map trying to pick off stuff. Maybe get information, find out if there's any additional expansions. The Zerglings are first moving in that direction. They've seen the, they've seen the Reapers. The Overlord has seen the Reapers. Ooh. And um, Oh, what the hell? She's got lings up there. She does. She was uh, scouting for some additional base, I imagine. Excellent pick on the Reapers. They're going to get this... Uh, ooh. Oh! Almost, almost well done. She's got, she got three of them, four of them. All of them. Oh, she's got to get them all, yeah. All right. All right. Now she needs to go. She ne she now needs you to know that it's time to go. sneaky base down in the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, yeah. There's a drop coming in, though, into her natural. But I don't know if she's going to be... Oh, she's got links at home. She's fine. What's, what are the links doing at the top, Tim? Send them home. Send them down. She's calm, calm down. She's got links at home, Cast your, Cast your bias now. Of course. <laughs> All right, good response. A little slow response here from Chim. Uh, he's got to force the Marines to pick up and move into the main. Uh, maybe try to pull Chim apart here by dropping on both sides of the map. Um, there goes the Muta. He's goodbye, Muta. Mutas and Marines aren't such a great thing together. I pulled everything home to defend this one drop, though. Uh, she's not across the map as much as she needs to be. She's in a fantastic position. 
But we need to close it. I think she knows it's time to go. They morph all of that into bandings and just crash at the front gate. She's just all, all army key towards the liberator, which she's got nothing to choose up. <laughs> yeah. Her mute is not out yet. Okay, so how many tanks is on the other side? One, two, three. Three that I can see at the okay. moment. Two it depends or on their position. There's too many links. There's too many links there. Um, that's just, there's no medevacs at home, there's too many links. Chim should just kill his army right here. And this, uh, tank is on siege. This is a great pickup for the ling run. We'll call this a ling run by, but it's the entire army. Um. And it's gonna kill the third two. Gonna, or at least yeah, gotta get the SCVs. There's a couple of lings waddling around. Uh, we do have the, the Vikings coming working. back home. They are, uh, yeah. 11 workers went down there from, um, hmm. Vala, but 8 went down from Chim so far in this game, so... More Muta's on the way. Uh... More Muta. Yeah, she can she she can overwhelm with Muta's here. I'd like to see Corruptors, but Muta's are fine. Um, she needs I'd like gas. to see her just I'd like to see her just roll up that front door and go hi, and just win the game. Needs to resaturate some of her bases. I love this mystery. Uh, we'll call this one two fifth down here, but I uh, would like to see some drones on it. She's still droning up. She's getting the Muta's. Her upgrades are about on par. Um, I think her drones are going to go there now. I think that rally of 15 drones is going to... Yeah, it is. Okay, so she's rallying her drones to the bottom left corner now. And with the Terran being back on his side of the map, there's no way he's going to see these drones transfer across. So this base is going to get away with it. She's going to get away with it. Um, yeah. She needs to get this third, though. And um, she needs to realize... Here the with the muters. There. there we go. Get this Liberator. It's about it's about the so, engagement. What engagement does she want to take right now? I think... Um, the speed's still not there. She... Yeah, she her gas is so low. Why is her gas count so low? She's uh, she not just finished gas. taking it on a few. She's not. Yeah. Take a look here, Vala. What does Vala have to do to stay in this game? Everything he's doing, just turtle and try and take your bases. Ideally, he would want to be trying to get a fourth at the same time because that natural starting to run low. Um, yeah, I don't know. He needs to be constantly getting his upgrades in. Bailing speed's finally on the way. What are the upgrades? It's 2-2 two, two versus 2-2. Two, two. So 3-3 three, three is just starting now for Valor, actually. So Valor is doing everything he needs to to try and survive. He was but a little behind on the upgrades, but he's, he's on top of them now. Um, I think she's waiting for 200-200 at this point. And it so, might be well, going for an A move well, victory. I thought she was waiting for a hive, but she still hasn't got a hive. Bailing speed. Muta's thing. She's she's yeah. building up for a push here right now, um, and she's got it if she hits it right. I think if she crashes she needs the more army, banes. she needs more banes. She only has four banelings. So she needs. She's got baneling more. speed, so maybe she, there we go. Maybe these these links move across the map now are, are her banelings. Uh, but I do like how she's artificially contained him. Uh, he's trying to take a fourth now, but he's letting himself. Kind of turtle at home. I do like he's, he's getting his reactors up on these barracks. Uh, a hive going down, finally. Um, Stim Marines, that's interesting. Why would you Stim your Marines to kill Lynx? So right. much production. Drilling claws. Uh, yeah, this is this is starting to get dangerous. The Terran's starting to get his production up and running. Chim needs to realize that uh, it's time to go. Whoa! <laughs> and the Reaper's seen the Bane Lynx. he like, oh god. <laughs> um, she's moving... Wow, Vala's actually going to move out and try and catch those banes before they morph, but it's this is a bad idea from Vala. To do that. If, maybe he's yeah, you this, see is, the... this is... Uh, okay, so you he know why I think this is a bases. bad move? No, he doesn't know about the other bases. Yep. But the thing that the bad move is... like He needs to be in position. He's lose... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, got to engage that well. Oh, Bailings. Oh, man, there it is. Absolutely well cleaned up. Um, what's on the other side of the... Oh, he actually picked up those marines. She didn't clean them up. And they're gonna go for his base. Uh, for her base. But um, she's... Yeah, no, it's dropping their side. And there, there's enough in here to be annoying. Oh, yeah. Um, Back home in Vala's base. Um, absolutely doing a great job. Of being a swarm. But she's gonna lose one base here. At least she pulls back with some of her army. Uh, Ling Bane. Yeah, she knows. All she has to do is kill that army and she wins the game, pretty much. Uh, there we go. Good use of Mutas here. There are the Lings behind this. So That's many. Just so many Zerglings. Oh oh. 
right now, and, and he's just out microwing her at her base. Is that where she wants to be? It doesn't matter. The game's over. This is just Terrence doing what Terrence do best. She's he's dead again. There G we go. G well played, excellent game, Vala. But the, the score goes two one. You know her. We're gonna go to their last diamond player next. And it looks like I'm gonna jump out of here because Flanders wants to jump in on the co cast. So um, absolutely. Actually, I'll see if he does, because his friend's up in there in the chat. So just give me two seconds. I'll see what's going on. Yeah, I'll bring you down. We're going to take a short three-minute break. I'm going to pause the stream and utilize the latrine. Waiting for party, Travis. Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back. We are four players remaining for Guns and Roaches, three players remaining for for Confederation. One win for Flanders. One win for Vala. One win for Chim. We're going back and forth. It's a brutal fight. And joining me again, the Ice Man. Well, yeah. mm. I should say, guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. Ice is back. He's a friend. Tell your friends. <laughs> da, 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 Yep. Oh, he's back. He's back. I'm in lobby. We're in lobby. Chim and Ravenex on Galactic Process LE. And another TVZ. And to be fair, on this map, <laughs> I think Chim's going to get some more of that. Beautiful, beautiful three racks reaper because oh. this this is one of those maps where you expect it. Um, I don't know. I'm yeah. going to assume that Confed put their best in right here. I'm going to assume that you know they're going to pressure her pretty well. So let's see. Galactic process. I like the rocks. I like the multiple avenues of attack. I like that it's a relatively safe third base as long as you stay vigilant. Um, and I like that spawning in the bottom left hand corner. The Green Terran representing the Confederation, it is Ravenex. And his opponent, sporting in the top right corner, it's our Blue Zog. She's on a one kill streak. Give it up for Chim. Chim, Chim, Chim. Um, just, just gonna quickly throw it out there before this game gets into gets going. Uh, there's this is the fourth map, so we've played Apotheosis, Galactic Process, now King Sejong and Frost. 
So after this, the three maps that are remaining are Frozen Temple, Rakshir, and what am I missing? Frozen Temple, Rakshir, um, New Gettysburg. Uh, Gettysburg. Okay, so if we see it go past seven games, we will be repeating maps. I yes. believe that's how it's going to be going. I, so, will, I, uh, I will say Desan Station. It's always disappointing to not see Desan Station. I think interesting games happen on Desan Station, but it is the most despised map uh, by players and is often, often just removed from the map pool, and that's what we're seeing today. It's lighter maps, but not Desan. No, they've taken Desan out and put Rakshir in. Now, yep. oh, this looks standard at the moment. SCV Scout, that's interesting. I'm surprised by the SCV Scout. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Only one guess at the moment knows which pa which SCV. Yeah, okay, it's just gonna be Reaper Fast Expand. Okay, so we're not gonna see any cheeky shenanigans this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always room for the shenanigans after the two minute mark. <laughs> if you have taught me well, something, <laughs> <I. laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's something I'm good at, isn't it? Uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out in the stream. Um, Talk, talk trash, but be friends. Uh, thank you, Confederation, for, for joining us here today in this all kill. And we're seeing yeah, great games. Thanks for giving us someone to beat up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we're going to teach you some neutrality. At least some feigned neutrality. Hey? Hey? So, um, anyway. What are, what are we what are we expecting out of our turn? I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing a standard one 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 after Reaper Fast Expand. Uh, in this position, I'd like to see a second Reaper Scout. I like to see this Reaper stay alive and get a reading off of the Zerg. If I don't see a uh, uh, um the thing that Zerg makes that shoots and it has armor and roaches roach roach <laughs> nest. Thing. Roach Warren. Thank you. If I don't see the Roach thing, um, I would love to see Widow Mines and There's the Roach things. But if I see Roach things, do we see a Roach thing? Yeah. I would like to see the Reaper no. get back in there, see the Roach thing, and drop tanks. That's what Ooh. I mean to say. Ooh. 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 Oh. That's the decision I believe Terran has here. they got to respond to the Zerg. He needs to find out if it's Roaches or if it's Ling Bane. In this case, I, I'm surprised. Chim loves her Ling Bane. Uh, he needs to get in there, see the Roach Warren as soon as possible, and take off the reactor from this tech lab. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm, I've made Chim more versatile. She can do both now. What does she prefer? So, you... well, I can't say that, just in case people are listening and she keeps going and... <laughs> yeah. Well, she showed her versatility. We've seen a great... Series of games here. Nobody's actually played the same build twice. No. Glory of an all kill. Oh, okay. So the uh, Reaper's sitting in the main. And uh, I don't Reaper's think she knows where it is. Yeah, he's going to see the Reaper Roach Warren. Now, what, does he do the right thing? Get a few drone kills. Pop yeah, up seen it. that factory. Switch it with the starport. Build a tech lab. Let's. Let me and there goes the Reaper. We take a quick back look back here. He's seen it. He has. What does he do with it? What does he do with that knowledge? Mm, and this is a, this is a problem with diamonds sometime, platinum diamonds. As we get into our build, we get into our habits. There it is, there's a tech lab. Tech lab. Good. Um, sometimes we don't always adjust the information we see. Uh, but it does look like Before he, he builds cyclones. Yep. Before he builds cyclones. <laughs> I don't mind cyclones, but they're not tanks. Oh, link drop coming from Jim. If they don't find these links, he's gonna find the links. Damn. Oh, he saw them earlier, didn't he? When he was pushing across this map. That's why yeah, but I them. like the idea. Yeah, but I like the idea. Hmm. That overlord's there. It'll coming stay up. There. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Plus one attack melee. Interesting. Shit, what are you doing? Maybe it's a fake out. We are gonna see a pickup yeah. though. This is a perfect sixteen marine. Two medevac pickup, he's gonna go across you. Now, ideally, what you want to do in this situation is deny the third or some kind of tech and then get out of there. Maybe just get a queen and get out of there. Maybe pick up a few drones and get out of there. But I'm gonna stress, get She's out going of Link there. Man. He She's needs going to. Link Told you. I win. I win the, the argument we weren't actually having. Yeah, exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, where's this drop gonna drop into? Oh, it's um, gonna be C and he's gonna neutral? boost it over. She's hard counted this. She's done exactly what she needs to. She's got so many queens out already. The links need to move and the other queen needs to move. Come on, she wake up. Well, that's such a cheeky spot. Yep, it is. And she can't fight that. There. No, she can't. She can't fight that just there. And the queens are gonna get one of these medevacs. One medevac. Uh, but they're gonna get both queens. Uh, he's gonna peek over here. Get the bane. Move your drones. Baneling nest. What's he targeting? Baneling nest. Okay. Excellent. Excellent job. Um, he's only lost one marine in this entire fight. And a medevac. And a me okay. Only, only, only a medevac's not actually a thing. A medevac's a big deal, but he does have three queens coming over here. They're going to clean this up. Some drones. Looks like they're trying to be SCVs, repair their queens. Going to get uh, as good of a surround as Chimp can hope for. But there's the other medevac. Oh, the medevac's down. I don't know if I like the medevac's being dead. I want to give him an escape to get out of my base. <laughs> uh, these marines are getting their money's worth. Only have lost four marines out of this pile of 16. Um, so much supply is just... There we go. All right, she's going to clean this up. Just barely. Absolutely took a devastating loss here. And a base. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheeky. It only, co it only <laughs> cost you 30 supply of units. Hey, she's on four hatches, mate. Don't you don't start doubting. Uh, Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start rooting. You're going to make me root for Confed because I'm trying to maintain some equilibrium here. This is a GNR stream. It's not and a you know stream. what? It's not a G. We don't do that. I don't do that. It's a. It's an what? all kill stream. All kill stream. It's an all kill. It's a clan called all kill. Jesus. There's a. There's a oh, clan called a drop, all. Here's a drop coming through. One go to mine. Six marines. Uh, this is. This is good enough to deny this third for a bit. This is a very dangerous thing. And if he continues to keep these drops up. But Chim's got enough links. Go Chim. <laughs> <laughs> so casting with me next will be Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, guys. Hey. What? Oh, well, at least somebody does. Um, anyway. Absolutely okay, spotted. So... <laughs> Absolutely spotted. <laughs> there is an overlord staring at the medevac, and, and she still hasn't reacted. <laughs> so, uh, spore... <laughs> it's unfortunate. Good use of... I like the double queens at each base, I do. Oh, the winner mine. Friendly fire. It didn't Ooh. go off. What? One, one ling? I wow. Think it only got three kills, three lings. And yeah. some of those were probably marines. Can you... Does that kill count count your own units? Uh, no. Oh well, okay, so three links. Alright, there we go again. So, uh, Jim right. actually helped this one. Spire's done too. Um, still hasn't utilized that base in the bottom. I think all her drones are about to go there. She's building seven. I think they're all gonna. Yeah, they are. They're all going to the bottom right. base. So I, li I like this. We have three racks. We have three racks with reactors. We have Stim is about to finish. Widow mines are being produced out on Tech Lab. Wait, Stim's only just about to finish? It is only just about to finish. She did all that without Stim. That was a huge miss. That was a huge miss on my behalf. I thought he had stim. He oh, did God. enough damage. We just assumed he had stim. Um, but we do have a. We do have. I would like to see reactor. Would, reactor would mines, but he's producing a lot of marines. We're talking seven at a time. If he keeps loading up across the map, it's fantastic. It keeps on her side of the map, but there's nothing at home. So it depends. Is she gonna? Is he gonna get his production up in time to defend a push into his own base, or is this pressure gonna keep her? Well, at home and afraid. Um, muters are on the way, uh, so the drops is gonna start to. Wow, this is actually a pretty big drop. This fourth base is, is do it, making its money, but you're right, this is huge. Actually, he's floating about 2,300 minerals. Wow, yeah, Raven's bank's massive. He's getting okay, and once lead. again, an over an overlord was. You're not gonna. This is, you need more than this. You need roaches. You need something. No, you just up. no, you just need friendly fire, bane, uh, widow mines. Ooh, great surround, but good pickup. There's the mutas. Oh, one medevac went down. Was that a full that had a lot of No, it wasn't quite full, but it did have a lot of marines in it. Right. And Chim's going to clean this up quite convincingly again, and they're not getting out of there. So he's just throwing army away. Yeah, he just I mean, gave he his has lead a bank, away. But he just completely gave He keeps it throwing his army away. Well, no. Okay, so he's <laughs> still nearly 20 workers in front, and has a 3,000 bank, nearly. What, what I give what I give to, to Chim here, what I take from Vala... Thor's. Ooh. I don't think we're gonna see that many mutas from 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 Chim to warrant it, but no, neither do I. She's gonna go into ultras eventually. What I what I see from Raven X here is he's pushing across the map, expecting kind of the same level of resistance each time, upping it just with the same types of units. That last push was, I think, a little too greedy. He was doing all the right things until that push. He should have 
understood there was a different composition. There should have been a different composition from the Zerg on the other end. He didn't do that much damage in his second push. But the Thors, James not building drones. I don't blame her. What's she at? 54. I don't blame her. She needs more than 54 drones. I know you love 80. Not even 80 might be a bit too much in this uh, situation, but she needs more. I'll give you that. Um, she's producing things. She's about to finish 2-1. Well, she's about to finish 2. She might finish 2-1 by the time she pushes out. A lot of marines on the other side of the map. She needs more banelings. Yeah, that's a, that's a big, and that's a big, and a big scary army. That's, lings aren't enough to handle this. No. There's a scan. He sees there's no fourth. Ish. It is a very cheeky base. Is it going to pay off? I think it's the only thing. Keep it in the game. Mm. Oh, you got to get this around on these great, great pickups. Oh! There. How long to bane speed? Ages. She Ages. forgot it. Yep. Good clean up of the like, creep here. He's doing what he's got to do to get to keep this push going forward. He's gonna pull back up to the high ground to planetary fortress going down and a fifth. That's <laughs> changeling. <laughs> oh, the mine's gonna be wasted on changeling. Yep, he's got enough. He's got enough knowledge here to know it's coming through. Second set of rocks. Good pick off there. Gonna force her to make a couple overlords right now, unless she desperately needs units. Uh... Go, 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 go. Not the best position. Oh, 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 oh. I think need to back up there. I think he should have held position on top of the ramp. Uh, but he's gonna the lose. The Lings are gonna clean this up. Absolutely. Thors are fantastic until you out get outlinged. Ooh, picked up the Thor. And there are yeah, no mutas to clean this up. If he falls his home, or she falls his home. She can kill him. Oh my god. He's got nothing. She's going to pick up the fifth. She's going to pick up the fourth. No, um, she, she won't get the fourth. Planetary. She needs to go to the main. She needs to just go to the main. Not anymore. It's too late now. Yep. Oh, was she just sitting? Oh, it flew. Okay. Now, if he can fortify this position, oh, no. he can get a couple widow That widow mine. The widow mine is still alive. Which one? The one that went off on a changeling. Um, at the oh, top of her ramp. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's that's sneaky. It's a dangerous widow mine. Might be the the most important widow mine of the game. Going to plus two in, uh, mech weapons too, but not building any more thors or tanks. Um, or, or, uh, just for or, maybe later. Uh, widow mines, tanks. Widow mines don't get a damage from the upgrades. Really? They don't get it. No. Get... Oh, the widow! Wait, what the fuck? Did the widow mine kill something? No, but the widow mine's sitting there at the potential sixth. She's double expanding. Uh, behind this, he's dropping production. Lots of barracks. There's. Well, he's there... still got a three k bank, which is a huge oversight from us. Still with that bank. Uh, and then maybe that's where the production's going. There's the mule hammer. Uh, planetary fortress kept itself alive. Is there a transition here? There's the there's hive. Where's she gonna go? Where's she got to go from here? I do like this Ultras. composition from Ravenex. She can see the drop and she's reacted. I think Ultras are the right option. Oh, I didn't um, see that. Obviously. Yep, too much here. Oh, got the full medevac. Absolutely gonna lose both yeah. medevacs here. Not even dropping. Oh, um, well done. That hurt. I think Chim needs to start taking all her gases and get that ultralisk count getting ready. She's got a hive up. She just needs the gas count to be higher and get that ultralisk cavern down. If she gets ultras with this Link Bane death ball, she'll steamroll this. Yeah, Thor's don't count ultras. Yeah, she is. You see her taking extra gases. She's maneuvering. She's got to fill the gases in that hidden base. It's still not spotted yet. And she's not had enough... Mutas. There it is. In the third. Fantastic hit. He's going to pull the whole army out of position here. And the rocks are down. Actually, what's the, what was he doing? His army was going the other side of the map. This is 10 SCVs going down. 11, 12, 13. Yep. And still priming 14. And eventually the Thor's going to come in here and go, Hey you, stop attacking my SCVs. I figured out the magic box tricks with those stories. It's a lot of fun. 
looks like he's not all army king, but he is leaving because of this, because of his use of a his avoidance of a bad key. He's moving across with half a half an army here. He's gonna get his base, but she can afford to throw this away. I think he'll lose his army if those widow mines don't get good connections. I think he loses his army. She's got to know those widow mines. There, wait, oh, the mute is dying. Yeah, Where's that ultra list, Kevin? We need ultras. Alright, there we go. Crisis. Oh, engagement! Great engagement in the middle here. Good splits. Um, Not good enough. The Bailings need to be hitting the Marines. It depends. I mean, you're giving this. Oh, there it is. Yep. Fantastic splits. But the. Yeah, the Bailings weren't doing what they needed to do there from Chim. Uh, they needed to be hitting Marines, not Thors. I mean, yeah, the Thors She's are gone, but. She got, she got hatcheries that aren't building. She doesn't have them hotkeyed. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no! I've done that. I've looked back at a, at a hatchery before. It's had so many larvae. Chim may have just um, thrown the game. Well, not necessarily thrown the game. She she, she was Raven on the deficit the entire spot. time. Absolutely, Ravenex has been on top of it. This might be Grimley's game to come and clean up. Ooh, yeah, banelings! Well. There's the banelings. This just might be it. This hidden base below these banelings here. Um, they're rolling, they're on creep. If she had an ultralist, Kevin, she would have won this game. I try not to be hindsight guy. Ooh. Why? Hindsight's amazing. And here we go. Ooh. Sendling's first, Sendling's These widow mines are going to be a fantastic for him. If he does this right, he holds this right, those widow mines are going to clean up a lot of the army as it tries to crash into his... Oh, there's a drop in the main, too. Oh, Chim's sending everything to- Oh, the Bailey's crashing in, but not Nowhere enough. Nowhere near enough. Absolutely. GG! Ooh. This is gonna be a good... Good clan war. <laughs> well, well played, both opponents, Rabbit X. Absolutely. I think he did everything he needed to do. Even with the unknown... What really hits home for me is he had- He did not even know that there was a hidden fourth. And he still played so solidly and, and dominating in that game. He earned that win. Absolutely played well. The score's now 2-2. Two, two. So both teams remaining with three players. Mm. Um, starts to get on that point of the game where it's like, oh, this is where it starts. Yeah, you actually start thinking about maps that you want to be picking. So um, with that in mind, I'll be back in a minute and see who we're going to send in. I dare say we know who it's going to be, but yep. I'm going to go see. So I can should let be, you know. Should be grim. Yep, I'll drag you right down. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say once again, thank you, everybody, for coming to hang out and watch the stream. This has been a fantastic event for both teams. A very close match, a lot of really good games. Um, like, subscribe, follow, whatever this happens to be in your flavor, taste of the month, whether on Twitch or YouTube. I'm not even going to export this. This has been good. Um, power of the green screen, the power of the, the cameras and the mics. And way too much equipment for the level of amateur we have. But well, thank you for watching. I thank you for hanging out. It's it's uh it's a great time. We're gonna keep StarCraft alive. We're gonna save Save Dead Game. Alright, so three three Waiting for everybody to, to ready up Nuru Ice. Waiting for Nehru. Take a look at my streams. There we go, entering lobby. All right, let me just, Grimley's not here, let me invite. There we go.
Well, does that mean I'm getting it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped him back into the voice chat, ladies and gentlemen. He had no idea. I was talking to a lady friend. Does that mean I'm getting it? Oh, here Ooh. we go. What? I'm going to be back in two seconds. I need it. Yeah, do your thing. Uh, I'll let the no streams ready and you'll jump in when you can. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go into game five. We're down to the last two diamond players on both teams. Um, and we've seen some fantastic games. Everybody's put forth a great effort. And it even looks like we have uh, legitimately just put on better and better and better players. Nobody tried to sneak their ace diamond in the first game. So, having a lot of fun. Having an excellent time. So, let's see. Rule threatening vans. That's what I get for giving my my friends moderator privileges. Um, no, no, don't ban the team captain. Let him talk trash. Let's see. Uh, three, two, one. They're starting the game. Grim's ready. Ravenex is ready. Everybody says good luck, have fun. It's gonna be on New Gettysburg. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a TVZ. Uh, it's a great map. I call it Sideways Arena. We flip it to the side. We have fly traps in the middle, but o overall, three attack paths. One short, even shorter by air. The second one by rock. Um, although this one, the rocks are rarely used. And the third path, which is supposed to be a long way, is much shorter than it was in Arena. Uh, but that's my miniature, absolutely miniature rant on this map. I do love it. I do enjoy it. I think most people do too. Um, we'll look into this now, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, the pink Zerg representing Guns and Roaches, trying to pull it home for the Diamonds, and give their team the lead. It is Grimly. And his opponent in the bottom left, it's our right, Darren, representing Confederation, and winning their last game, it is Raven X. Excellent timing, my friend. Welcome back. Let's have some fun. Good games, good matches. I like this. I'm excited about this. Grimly is, um, he's our Diamond. He's our Diamond that... Should have made his push to Masters by now, but, um, just the wall, the plateaus are stopping him. He's right there, uh, so I expect good things from him. And Ravenek showing us a fantastic use of drop play, positioning, and beating back one of our strongest Ling Banes in her element. Ravenek, uh, this is, this might be the game of the night. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it just may be. And a drone coming across here. I'm well, actually really need to pay attention to see where Grimly puts his his overlords. And I'll put mine there. Um, this scout is gonna see what he needs to see. He's gonna see the natural. He's gonna see it's a standard opening. He's not gonna need to react immediately. He can play Reaper fast expand. Back home, he's already got a marine coming. He's decided marine was better. Looks like he's positioning it to get rid of the overlord, which either means. He wants to get a free kill in the Overlord, or he thinks something cheeky might need to be hidden. Well, I mean, he forgot Stim last game for a long, long time, and uh, that's a reactor. He's gonna build a factory, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I believe he has his hotkey on his keyboard. Follow me yes. at Twitter at Grimly underscore. <laughs> he does. He does have a macro key. <laughs> he is. He is now broadcast that to ten people. T -t 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 ten. Uh, we do have. Um, we do have some nice banter in the chat. Orion and Cruel one v one fights. Um. So I just got a message from Orion in the um, fucking party chat. Follow me on Pornhub. Wow. I just said, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> chat messages. Privacy was off. I got. I got the message. Wait, I got a I got a private message, but it told me I didn't see it. Oh, to turn it off. Non Fred messages. Oh, whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, Link's coming across the map here from Gribbly, just uh, to see four? what they can get done. These are normal six, right? So we're seeing. I like this. No, no flash balloons. Oh, overlords. I love the I love flash the banter. Balloon. I don't personally have the the APM for this. I cannot do this. Now, take talk about APM. That's no, that's EPM. That's zoomed in. APM's uh, currently 
It's yeah. Oh no no don't. I I know that it might be something else. Ooh, 386 tied for a second there. They're dancing. <laughs> Dance. Jesus. He danced his legs. He's, I having, love he's having too much fun right now. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing that he's having fun. It is. He's been, uh, he hasn't been doing a lot of StarCraft lately. He's been, uh, trying to find plays, his place. I think he plays better when he has fun too. Like, yeah. So, oh, absolutely. He's he's very easily he, gets into a negative mindset, and beats him up. And he doesn't he doesn't need to get there. APM at five hundred and seventy. <laughs> I think Brad. That's I think that's one thing Brad does do. He um he beats himself up too much. He does. And yeah, he's an excellent player. And yeah, like I said, probably, he's on the he's on the verge. That's probably why he's not masters. Is because he beats him up himself up too much. Fast armory coming out here too. Is this a blue flame all in? Stim battle in? I'd like to see a good blue flame. I mean, it would be in. It might not be blue flame, but I. Uh, but actually, need, where's the armory? You don't need blue flame for armory, do you? You don't need armory for blue flame, do you? No, actually, you don't. What the hell's the armory for? It looks like it's just for mech. Looks like it's Hellion. Nope. Yeah, it's Hellion. Hel Hellion. Viking. Tank. Cyclone. Something. Mech. This it's is ugly. Mech. Uh, not again. Not like he was right. When talk, not like this. Not like this. Fuck mech. Hellions. Oh okay. man. So no. Okay. No. 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 You need the armory for hellbats. That's what you need the armory for. You don't need it for blue flame. You need it for hellbats. And then you need the. No, he's not even making. <laughs> not like this. He knows he's going mech now. <laughs> uh, okay. So no, you make the hellions first. They get across the map quicker. Oh, that's a lot of links. That might just kill him. Straight it depends up. on the timing. Yeah. They're already hitting. He's got he's got plenty of he's got plenty on the ramp though. He's got to get a good engagement here, because uh, this is not. It's one. Oh, got him. great control there. Uh, but the more links are coming. The Hellions are doing doing their work. He needs to get one yeah. more of these. There he goes. Oh, there it is. You need to kill the natural. Just kill the natural. The wall. He'll realize it in a second. He's got three bases. The Liberator's not enough. They're, lings are lings. Fire's already on the wire. From Brad. Yep. Oh, excellent. Excellent job cleaning up the mining. He's on one base now. One base mining. One saturated base. He's pulled everything back. Now, so we were talking about negativity. I'm going to focus on that because that's one of my biggest pushes, and I struggle with it myself a lot, staying positive. Um, I think one of the things that holds back a lot of our players, a lot of them, and less so some of our more senior players who I've been trying to hammer this in on, is they're, they beat themselves up. They find, and was it Cruel or Cactus? It was Cruel or Cactus. Beat themselves cactus. up. Cactus beat himself all the time. Like, Protoss, I can't be Protoss. And he, oh, did I? How long has this barracks been there? The whole time. That's how I said he knows it. Oh, it hasn't been landed there the whole time. But um, <laughs> the barracks was flying across the map for ages because, okay. uh, and that's how he found out he was going back. Because his barracks. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Actually, did he? Is he remaking a barracks? No, he's not. Okay, so he's not going to be making any more factories for a while. <gasps> and uh, I think the third's going to be taken is on this, the is island. Is this just all in? I'm going all in. This is it. But we have. We have no, mutas, we have... But I think he forgot that he can't build any more factories because he doesn't have a barracks. <laughs> so this is not about negativity though. So we have players who are... who beat themselves up so much they keep themselves... feeling bad. Feeling bad's a wrong way, bad way to put it, but they keep themselves in such a negative zone. Oh, another... I like this. I like the fourth. It definitely expands well. Um, they beat themselves... So they beat themselves up so bad they hold themselves back. They they don't look at their games. I think we had a player earlier today, Jupiter. Um, it's he's a really bad case of this right now. Have you been paying attention to Jupiter's chat? <laughs> Ripper X6. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you he needs to build another barracks before he builds factories, and this is what I was talking about. Yeah, he's, he's like, it now. yeah, he's like, oh shit. And now Brad, he doesn't Brad was... he doesn't know enough. Oh to... god, yeah. It's a lot of liberators, actually. He, he needs corruptors, it's not me. a meters. lot of command centers. He's going to take these islands. Yes, he is. He's going back. Oh, dear. We could be in for a long game here, boys. 
Uh, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Oh, it's gonna be on the way, so infestation pit's just gone down. Infestation pit. What I'd like to see from Brad. Oh wow, he's actually moving across. That's a lot of hellions. Um, With the good liberator zones, he gets this. Uh, I would like to see the banelings crash that though. Right in the funnel. As soon as nope. you get rid now. of the funnel. Now, 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 now. Oh no, this is disgusting. Oh, the mutas are gonna clean this up. Yeah, no, banelings. Banelings are very good versus uh, hellbats. The, the, the liberators are, are siege. They're not going to get anything done here. Oh, now they are. Oh, that was scary for a second there. Liberated. Ooh. So he cleans that up. Let's look at that army supply. Tells the whole story. You call this. You call over way too quickly. Think about it. What can he do? How's he going to stop the next ling flood that's coming across the map right now? Well, don't don't put He's this on, don't put this on the professional level. Who knows? Who knows what mistakes? Gribbly can throw this. Gribbly can get rid of his lead. I mean, he just just did just comp his muters on top of a liberator. He, he did just aim, aim, you know, move command. Absolutely. There's the links coming in. Uh, great, great control there on the on the ramp. You know, links don't do well. Technically. Thirteen workers, fifteen workers, seventeen workers, eighteen yeah. workers. He's, no he's more doing tire. everything he needs GG. to do to secure this. I think we're gonna see some cheeky chat. <laughs> he's dancing again. <laughs> I forgot that I don't know how to mech, because this what we're getting? Yeah. Excuse mech's tough. Mech's something you don't use, but we're going to see a lot of it with Tyrant in the next coming months, because mech is, mech is back. GG, Rapidex, an absolutely fantastic player with great manners. Thank you. You, were, you are a beautiful human being. Well played, mate. And now, uh... Absolutely. I thought you had that for a minute there. So, we have, uh... Two maps left in... Right now. So, there's five are down. And the two maps that are left are Frozen Temple and uh, Rakshir. Rakshir. Nobody, nobody knows Rakshir, do they? Whoever watches GSL will know what Rakshir is. Right, right. But not everybody stays up till 2 a.m. or watches VODs. Yeah, true. I mean to say, when people think about the next map they want to pick, who practices Rakshir? Did you no practice one. Rakshir? No. <laughs> Am I playing Rakshir? You no. might have to. No. I'm not playing if I have to play Rakshir. <laughs> oh, but we got rid of Dasan. Everybody knows Dasan, but nobody knows Rakshir. Nobody knows the points, the rocks, the ramps, the attack pass. That's going to be a tough match. I know we put it in there, but people just don't know games that they don't ladder on, or maps that they don't ladder with. So it'll be fun. It'll be an interesting moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, well, thank you again for watching. Actually, the next part is we're moving into a, a Masters play now. Ooh, oh, let me change the score. Two remaining players, three wins to two wins. And um, yep. the confed's down to their two masters. They are. And Grimley's not somebody who I would I would uh, root against, even against a masters player. He puts his games up. Now, I will say this is GNR's... We talked about this earlier. I think this is GNR's weakness. Uh, we have strong, amazing diamonds. And oh, we have, shit. We have can... Oh. Senpai I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, yeah. So we have strong and such amazing diamonds that they got promoted to masters. So most of our masters are low to mid masters. So depending on how strong of a force they put forward, um, how strong of a masters they have to play us, this might be a very challenging game for Grimley. It's a complete unknown for us. So uh, we'll see. Let's take a quick look. He's putting in Senpai Ness. We have Senpai Orion and Senpai Ness. So this is not a definitely planned these names. Masters 16 times, so this is it's a legitimate Masters player. Take a look at his profile some more, and we'll go ahead and switch over to StarCraft mod. Ladders. Career summary. Legacy of the Void, Masters. One, two, three. Oh, let's go one, one, one. Five times. Three times. Looks like he had a gap. He was heavy masters and early wings of liberty. Heart of the swarm took a big gap in playtime and heart and uh, heart took a big gap in playtime and heart of the swarm. Um, or at least not a gap in playtime, but a gap in sauce. Oh wait, wait. And no, no. Do you know what the best thing is? He flew. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of a conversation. You said bring me back, so I brought you back. Yeah, but you I should I should expect a ten minute delay. A ten minute delay. Look at you. 
Go eat yourself a kangaroo. I'm gonna go catch one first, then I just fucking jump around my area. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so this player, he's 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 uh had very good success in Heart of the Swarm Wings of Liberty as in the Masters League. He pulled himself back up last five seasons of Masters League, all of 2016. Masters League. So he's a strong Masters. He came off a three kill streak yesterday against All In in their Master GM clan war. Um yeah, he's he's solid. So um something something we've gotta be worried about. Um I mean I dare say our masters is gonna be good enough, but it, it just comes down to who knows. So I guess we gotta find out. Yeah, so. if anybody can do it, Grimley can do it. He takes games off our masters, but this is a his best of best one. This this is his best matchup. Okay, good. All right, get all the streams going in the right places. It is Frozen Temple P V Z. I love this map. I love the attack pass. I actually liked it before when we had all of the uh do when they had the watchtowers. But and right now we we've taken those away. We've taken them away for quite some time. I don't know why I keep talking about them. <laughs> um I said the pregame lobby, bite the pillow. That's a little racy. So in the bottom left hand corner, spawning in the light pink, it is GNR's very own Grimly. Oh, okay, so, um, Grim's 12 pulling. Spawning. Spawning in the top <laughs> left. It's our red Protoss from Confederation. It is Senpai Ness. Senpai Ness. He's being 12 pulled. He's sending the, the pylon, no, not the pylon, the uh, gateway scout. Alright, uh, so, yeah. This will be interesting. I mean, he's not our king of cheese. Um, Justin has not been here in a while. Uh, but he's definitely, he can pull it off. This is something he can do. Uh, he's going to see there's no natural. He's not going to immediately think something's up. That is normally the timing in which you block Oh, it. he's still going to throw down the Nexus. He's, he's brave. Wow. Did he count the drone? Did he cancel it? He doesn't have... He's going to lose the Nexus if he's not careful. What do you um... think he's... Zealot's gonna come out, but there's gonna be Zerglings across the map, and then there's gonna be more. There's gonna be too many Zerglings across the map. He's playing it pretty uh, standard so far. He thinks he's blocking a natural. Did he no, didn't he count knows. the he doesn't does he know? What's he doing? What's he doing? He knows he's being chased. Um He's gonna lose but... this. He put no. out a zealot. He's gonna lose the natural, he's gonna lose his pylon. Brad's not making uh, Zerglings at home. The Mothership Core is going to be out soon as well. That's a uh, another thing. Microwing's pretty well with the links, and there's, there's oh, there we go. The Zealot's down. Another Zealot's being chronoed out, and um, he might need to cancel this expansion. Uh, the Mothership Core's still right. not there's being not made. Lot, there's not a lot being. Well, four more links being streamed across the map. Uh, he's pulled pulling enough probes. He's trying to pull. Is that enough? Yeah. I say he doesn't follow us up here. But he thinks he's got the zealot. Oh, Speed's still a while. Mm, I think he's okay. So hmm. that's a really absolutely fantastic hold by Senpai Ness Confederation has taken a greedy natural against what was an all-in on one base. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it was a solid hold. Absolutely, um, everything he had to warp do. Gates, to... Warp gates still not being researched. No mothership causes on the way. What's he doing with his gas right now? He's shaking. He's still shaking up right now. Um, That's not. Is that enough links to beat zealots in a choke? No. Maybe it is now. He's got three. No. Nope. Yeah, he's got enough. Yeah, he'll get in. Well, he'll get in. No, I'm talking about he's enough for zealots to hold. No, it's not. And more links are coming too. And this is what I mean. He ha he hasn't been spending his gas. There's still no adepts out. There's still no zerglings out. I mean, mothership core out. These links are still going to get damage done. And this is all he needs to do is just keep getting damage done. He's got to like, get. I mean, he doesn't just need to do it. He has to do it to stay in the game. At this point, he's behind. Oh, he expanded in his third location. There was a pylon put down in the natural to try and hold that. He's going to lose these two gateways worth of production. We do have an adept out. The shade is uh, actually shaded up into the defensive position. 
Oh, there it is. There's the mother's going to be more links coming across the map now. That pylon got taken down. That was on the other side. But again, losing this the gateway production, still no tech from uh, Senpai Ness either. Excellent micro. He's pulling back the damaged links. Um, really paying attention to how he's executing this. Roach Warren follow up too. So again, with no tech, this whether it's a Ravager all in or a Roach all in, this is how this game's going to end. Like, well, it's either going to end with uh, Brad Thorling killing, and there's a follow up, Stargate. I like Stargate choice. I really do. Tell me about this. What would you do as a Protoss here? Exactly what Ness just done build a Stargate, <laughs> build oracles. Um,. Or I'd build a Void Ray. But he, has, he doesn't know about the Roach Warrior. Can you get the natural now, here? He, he, uh, he needs more links. He's gonna get the pylon. Yeah, he needs to keep denying it. He actually might get it. I don't know what the Warp Mothership Core does at this point. How, how good it's. But it's three hits for a link, and if he keeps pulling him back like this. Well, he's gonna get the Adept. Excellent surround there. Uh, good force field. Still got an adept, still worth it. And now Brad, still draining up. Oracle coming out. Oh. <laughs> I said he should build an Oracle. Because he's got those gateways building back up. Um, this is a fantastic game. Probe hiding in the bottom corner, or the bottom of the map too, so it might be Some waiting for something gateway. to come out. Um, Brad mm -hmm. going for, or Grimly going for a layer two. Roaches are out. Uh, he needs more queens. Um, I'd like to see a quick Nidus, and uh, just so he can get those queens. As soon as he realizes that there's a Stargate, see a Nidus worm down. Uh, put the Nidus worm down. Get your queens on the other side of the map, and just because he's not going to have a lot of stuff on the ground. That's the that's one big problem of going Stargate. You don't have a lot on the ground. He's getting a lot of sentries, but Ravagers can deal with them, not a problem. And we might be looks like we're transitioning to a solid macro game here, um, which. Would be out no, the strength. I think Grim's gonna push soon. He's the still building Roach. He is. Yeah, he he's still building Roaches. Hasn't taken his third. There's the Oracle. Uh, Queen is kind of. He needs more Queens. As soon as he sees this Oracle, he no needs to know to build another Queen or two. I was watching production. Uh, there goes the Spore Crawler. It's first response. And, and, okay, so targeting the Spore, uh, the drones instead of the, the drones. Uh, the drones instead of the Queens. Yep, always eight good. Eight kills, nine kills. Nine drones, and he almost gets out of there. He moves across the map. There's another oracle. There's another oracle coming, and this roach push. This is what I was talking about. This roach push is going to be deadly. One sentry f for pretty much nothing. All right, so there's one overcharge baited out. Get that. Get some ravages out. Oh, these sentries are way out of position. Oh yeah, that's not a good thing. All he needs now is a ravager. A few ravages. A lot of pylons going down. There's a couple stalkers. And I love how this Mothership Core continues to get free damage. It's just high. Get out. Alright, so he's, he's building a lot of links back home. Again, I believe that's a smart choice. Void Rays are on the way, so this is what I was talking about. He knows there's a Stargate. That Nidus Swim should be going down, but he's not got gas, actually. Oh, good so, hit on that Ravager. Um, but he needs to get those queens across the map. That's what he will need to kill that Void Ray. If he gets the queens across the map, even if he got Overlord speed and drops, that's another way to do it. I've seen, who was it, Dark done that in the finals, but it's beyond. I don't think that's just in his inventory. I don't think uh, that's something that Grim does. No, but he needs to get those queens across the map. They need, to, Even if they slow waddle, they need to get over there to kill those bloody Void Rays. He looks like he's going to go home. He's, he's taking yeah. himself into a deficit now. He needs to either expand it's, or commit. Okay, so he has 55 to 22 workers right now. Yeah, excellent hold. Workers. Excellent, absolutely excellent hold by, by Senpai Ness here. Um, great use of his of his sentries, aside from the two that he threw away. Um, I like the Void Ray. I absolutely love the Void Ray in this situation. Handful of links still sitting across the map. Um, hi, Void Ray. He's going to figure out he needs to get these home. Bait and overcharge while you're at it, maybe? I'd like to see a Spire right now. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he hasn't got the gas, but Hydra. if he had the gas, yeah, Hydra's a, Hydra's a solid, but um, what I can see, Brad can't see, and that's the fact that he's going into Glaives and a Robo. So um, if he went into uh, Mutas from here, then there's going to be no Phoenix count unless he sees the Spire, 
And is it? Oh, okay. Proxy pylon in the bottom of the map where that probe yeah, was. Finally, he's been there all, all all game waiting for that. And that's good. That's what he needed. He said, "Hey, I'm gonna stabilize." And once I'm stabilized, it's time. It's game on. It's time. Um. Yeah, Brad. Oh, Grimly needs. Oh, there's a uh, robotics bay on the way too. So disruptors aren't far away. I dare say. Yep. Um, Glaives is nearly done. Forge on the way. I actually like Ness's position right now. Oh, absolutely. He's he's got a he's got a huge lead. Uh, he's he's built up through excellent, absolutely excellent saves, uh, holding if you will, excellent holds. Um, just now getting his forge out, robotics bay. Uh, a yeah. slow warp in of a depth down the bottom too. There's a void ray taking the slow route across. He's going to back up this army. Um, he's going to provide this army with one thing it needs, and that's something that's up. There's queens and hydras. There are now. I don't think he's a he knows that. He should expect it. And there is you're right, there's Disruptors. the first disruptor. Yep. This might come down to how well you split against disruptors or how well disruptors hit. I dare say it will come down to oh that's the border is just going actually. right past. Oh wait. You're right. Need, That's a lot of adept Need entry. more roaches. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come from two angles. This is this is a scouting void ray. Blink on the way too, actually. Now. No, oh, you gotta. You might as well get it while you can if you have the money. A uh, little oversaturated on his third. He needs some. He needs a fourth. He's well overdue for a fourth. Just so he can continue anything he wants. Any, any of his plans. Anything he does, he needs a fourth. Um, he does have a depth here. Is that what prism? Uh, Grimly, Grimly, Grimly needs a... Absolutely needs an expansion. Bad time for his, his slings, I think, to run across. The thing I'm... The, the only thing Ness is missing right now is a wall prism. It was a fantastic army composition. I think uh, Senpai Ness has exactly what he needs. Absolutely, no more warp ends here, more stalkers. But that's warping in into the third, and they're getting damage done already. Oh, thank you. The Roach Ravager was slow to respond. The Lings are pulled back a moment. Reconsider their course of action while he handles this. We do have a Void Ray hiding up here by the Natural. Just north of it, and units streaming across the map, shading Adepts, trying to get to the fight. Uh, ax abs absolutely well damage well done. Looking at 70 probes. 48. And he's still he's still armying armying up. And those those links are done. Goodbye, links. More depths. More depths coming in the bottom. And here's that warp prism. He's gearing up for his attack, I think. What the fuck? He, he won doing? Ling. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I thought I'd done that. <laughs> no, I was like, wait, what? How did it I do survived. that? Survived. It's interesting. Well, that one is he gonna get anything done? He's zero kills. I'm gonna keep that targeted on him. I would love to see him get a kill. Like, thank you for leaving that alive. Well, he forced an overcharge, <laughs> and he's still alive. Five health, Ling, hero Ling, as he pushes across. Oh, he's gonna get the scout. <laughs> he's alive still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need there's to watch him now. On the other side of the map. Now there's a push on the other side of the map that we need to watch. Yep, yep. Disrupt, first disrupt the shot misses everything. All right, Zergling died, no kills. Warp prism in the back of the main. He's gonna hit from three sides, and this is gonna hurt. Yep, absolutely. Um, well done. Well, well executed. This is gonna tear him apart. Uh, Grimly does not handle the multitasking well. Terrans and their drop. Oh, oh, absolutely dodge. There, he's got nice biles actually, but this is nothing. The rest, yeah, absolutely everything on all sides is tearing him apart in three different directions. Uh, this is, the, I would say, this is his bane. Uh, Grimly falls to Terran drops regularly when they push him from all sides and this is exactly what he's facing now gee gee this has been the most back and forth all kill i think i have ever seen congratulations senpai ness oh man is he playing is he playing in the ctl do we have to watch out i don't know um but i'll be back in a second absolutely i think everybody has won or lost one and lost one game except for the first game Oh, this has been the closest and tightest series yet. This is Rack Shear 
Senpai Ness versus Cruel. I want to say Cruel. I'm going to pull a random caster in here for the last game. Because uh, it looks like at this pace, we're going to see Ice play. He's got to step down from the caster desk and run this mess. No, was it? Going in, no lube, Grim says uh, earlier in his pre-lobby trash talk. Uh, well done, and a lot of high spirits from everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for ConFed for coming out in GNR and, and, and joining us in this all kill. This has been a, a fantastic series of games so far. Well, Ryan, thank you for putting together Nero. Thank you for the organization and, and rounding up the chaos that is GNR into one single and solitary night. The next map, Rackshear. Ah, so I'm going to spend the first few minutes poking around on this map to figure out what I'm looking at, and this is cool. That's unfortunate. All right, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Quick 45 seconds. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, and oh, right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I said I'm ready. Cruel says he's ready. Senpai Ness says ready, and looks like we're going to have a game any second now. It's going to be Rack Shear, WTS Gameheart, and joining me again is Ice. Ice, what do you think of this map? Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Rack Shear. I don't know who it favors. I mean, again, even in GSL, you didn't see Rakshir that much. Um, yeah, it's definitely a different map. Hmm. So uh, I guess we've got to find out now. We're going to do the introductions. Um, I've seen a few games played on this, but afterwards, let's talk about this map. Um, you're right, did see it in the GSL. And as is standard, spotting the top, <laughs> spotting the top left hand corner. Oh, yeah. The teal zerg representing guns and roaches, cruel. And his opponent sporting in the bottom right. It's our red Protoss representing the Confederation. It is Ness or Senpai Ness. Senpai Ness, um, who was, uh, did a fantastic job last game, pulling Grimly in so many directions. That's an attack that takes a while to set up. So let me. I'm gonna start in the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna zoom around this map. It's got a very large 
Main. Is he cannon rushing? Uh, uh. No, he's not. Pylon he's going scout. Pylon scout. Yeah, but that's cheeky. He's going Nexus first. The map. I think, I think it's an unknown map. Uh, I wonder who practiced it. I wonder who's played it. I wonder who's having a hard time figuring out what to do right now. Because we have a third hidden behind rocks. Uh, that's the only third. Yeah, but... Like, you have to tear those down. Yes. Uh, this, av this ramp in the natural becomes a... It's a very small ramp. It's easily blocked off. Um, but it is... It is a point of a lot of contention in the fight. Now, in the mid-game, the rocks to the third, or even the third itself, become challenged through this pathway on the top, and then we have so many avenues of approach for fourth base. The fourth base is really up to question. Do we take the far corner? Uh, do we kind of go towards the enemy closer in any of those two directions in the middle? Or do we separate ourselves from our main force so much in an attempt to avoid the opponent that we take our third to the bottom center or the top center? Yeah. <laughs> as the Protoss, you're just going to try and... Actually, as the Protoss, I'd be taking a gold, I reckon, as my fourth. Gold versus gold? Right in the center? Yes. Uh, Alright. I think it... But see, only problem I have with this third is it's the attack path. You can't go up the center. The center is blocked by rocks. You're going to naturally mm -hmm. look at the third. So taking the third as your natural, I think, is more risky than any other map we've seen. Now, if anybody can oh, do yeah. it, Zerg can do it. Oh, there's the forge. Looks like he's gonna go right into either upgrades or some kind of cannon defense. Is there is there a, is there a three minute cannon rush on mission? <laughs> Unless I've missed it too, then mm. no, he's just getting it for defense. I think, like, but yeah. So, whoa. Okay, that's new. You said whoa. I'm looking Shields. At... Yeah. Look, uh, in shields. production, plasma shields. But nobody ever gets yeah. shields. Shields is the thing nobody gets. Shields is the thing from Wings of Liberty. Or at the beginning of HOTS, where you'd go Charge or Arc on Phoenix. Um, now, unless he's doing a blink all in and just plans to blink when the shields die. Um, or doing a Charge or Arc on all in as well, maybe. I don't know. Like, uh, What the fuck? That Ling was up on the ramp. Like, up on the stand. What? What? <laughs> hey, watch Zilla! Watch Zilla! I did, I did. He watch jumped it? up. He jumped oh, up on the. Uh, th he jumped up on the balcony. It's yeah. What? Yeah. What do you What do you want to get done there, buddy? There's the gold. Um, but his opponent's wow. watching for the third. The I wasn't cool, expecting cool Krull to come... take the gold. Well, he's been playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's gonna get. He's gonna deny the scout on the third. So we know. Senpai thinks he's taking the third at this point. He has to assume the third might be taken. He's got to assume that something. But he doesn't know there's a gold. He killed off the scout early enough this is to gonna hide be, the it, gold. I think this is a charge lot Archon timing. Uh, Just the fact that he's getting shields is... Like, if, if I seen that as a Zerg or... Like, gates? when it's finished... Yeah, there's a couple of gates, but that's not the thing that's getting me. Like, I want to see what he does with the Twilight as well, obviously. It could be Blink, like I said before, but I don't think so. I think this is going to be a charge of on it all in. A couple of things are going to poke here, see what they can see, but they're going to... They know they're going to get denied. They need more than that. The tower cannot see creep. Wait. Oh, wait. Hang oh, on. No, he's is, on now is. he's going to see it. Now he's going to see it. He knows the third's at the gold. He's not blind, right? He didn't ignore it. Uh, he, he, no, I've got it on V, like, so I can see what he sees, and he yeah. can see the entry. Absolutely, okay. He knows this then. Uh, Glaives. Hey, so maybe he just believes in shields above armor. He's gonna clean this up, he... I love the Mothership Core. This is a very short distance to the natural. This gold is now in a very precarious position. Uh, what the hell is the Mothership Core doing? <laughs> vacation. It's in the goal! Who wins this fight? Queen, if the queen, I think the queen got the first shot. Whoever got the first shot wins it. I'm pretty sure the queen got the first shot. Uh, uh, the queen stopped shooting. Yeah. The queen injected. And the bye bye drones. Hey, yeah, uh, there's a death coming in here now. Dark shrine on the way. I like it. I like the use of the Dark Shrine. I like the very safe third. 
Um, I think Cruel is paying for his uh, greed. Is the gold so worth it? How much do you get out of the gold? If he can hold it, it's worth it, but I don't think he knows about the Dark Shrine. He should work it down on the way. He needs to work out, like, yeah, yeah he needs to see. He's If we look at Cruel's vision, yeah. He's, wait, the, he's got an overlord. Okay, so he may see the Twilight Council. Where's the Dark he Shrine? He sees the Twilight Council. He doesn't. Wait, you said Dark Shrine. But... It's in the natural. He won't see it. Okay. But he'll see, the, he'll see the Twilight. Oh! He's one pixel away from seeing that Dark Shrine. Uh, he's actually one pixel away. He sees the pylon, but you're not. I don't think he's putting that much thought into that pylon. No, he didn't see the dark side. No, he saw uh, the pylon that was supporting it. Yeah. And then you might go, oh, that's a weird pylon, but I don't know if we're at that level of gameplay where we're looking at the meta that hard. Well, he. He's, I think he woke up to the fact it could be DTs because he he's got is, spores yeah. everywhere. Uh, overseer on the way. Uh, I just seen DTs. Where are they? Okay, there they are. They're going into the natural now. Yep. Spores are clean that up. I mean, DCs are great when they're invisible. Oh, he's talking to Hatchet now. Uh, I don't think that was worth it. You think that was worth it for who? No, I don't think it was worth it. Oh, no, no. I don't think that the Protoss got any damage done there. Spore Crawlers he got six, were he just got six drones. down. He got six drones on. Okay, and yeah. I think that's a DT in the... Um... You either go to Archon at this point, or you... Yeah, I dare say he's going to drop that last... Oh, no, he's going with the four DT drop. Okay. As long as he catches the army out of position here, he's got a very good chance of getting some damage done. Cruel needs to wake up. Wake up, Cruel! We are down he's to gonna, the last two. We are tied up. He's two, doing two. a like He's doing a like a push, and this DT drop is going to get damage done. And he's a, yeah. If he doesn't turn them into he goes right ones. to the queen, right to the spore crawler. The like den's right there too. Yep, there's the queen, there's the spore crawler. Loka Den's dead. If he targets... Oh, nice. He's choosing, he will, he's choosing the lair, which isn't a bad choice. This resets all of his tech. Except the fact he's already got Loka's out. There we go. I mean, that's a huge pickup, and he's gonna get away with all of it. It cost him, it was free. Yeah. Okay, so, um, he's got an army at home to deal with Loka's too, I think, so... And that's in a pretty good spot right now. Absolutely fantastic play by the by the Dark Templar. These drones could I would oversaturate them somewhere before I'd leave them there. Yes, yeah, so would I. I would have lost by now, so maybe I wouldn't even have had the chance, but so don't let me get too, you know, hard, hard, strong on what he should be doing. Uh, we do have links coming up here to the third. Uh, they're gonna poke, but that's a, a massive number of immortals, even some dark templar archons being morphed in. Now this might be good. This is a good place to poke. This is a good place to siege. All of these buildings are forfeit. I don't think he has this. There's nothing. Where's his vision? Nope, all that tech That's... is gone. And this ramp is secure. As long as he doesn't pull those up, this army can't he has, a, he has detection. He has detection with his army. As long as this is dead. Seven. There it is. Excellent. And there's no robo. Oh, yes, there's robo still alive. Yeah, it's good. There's one robo. Two robos. Uh, one's making an immortal. Are there any? There are no observers on the map, and there are no observers in production. Now there is. He wisened up, he cancelled the immortal. Yeah, he needed to. <laughs> you can't move on this. This is not even a large army by Cruel. This isn't a large commitment. This no, Cruel can take. If Cruel takes this ramp, oh god, so much tech is gonna die if Cruel can get on the top of this ramp. Absolutely. Uh, this this uh, one zealot coming in, he's gonna save the day. Oh, uh, there's the observer there. One observer out. Where's he at? Uh, where's Cruel where's... going? Cruel's pulling shit home. That's not good. These Lakers need to survive. Well, he's got things being pulled across the map. He's sending zealots to kind of, kind of toss them up. But you're right. He needs to he needs to bring the detection back. There which it he is. is, and he just he's needs to sit all. at the top of the ramp. All right now, Barry, Barry, you like us? Absolutely great hole. This is a very difficult position. If he gets this observer, uh, I he won't I get the observer. MTG. But so much stuff's gonna die. He can't get up that ramp. Two observers on the field now. 
no nothing, uh, actually nothing to defend this. I don't like him streaming across the map anymore. Get the Zerkers in the best position they can. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I like the position where he was before at the top of the ramp. Agreed. But he got a, a significant amount of damage done. Kept keep him in the game. But I only think it kept him in the game. I don't think it solidified anything. No, exactly. I think that the get that hide was on the ledge too. What the hell? Oh no, it's not. That's a good attack, but it's only going to take him to, to rebuild it once. The dark shrine is still there. Uh, he's taken his a third. Well, I guess which is now a third. What what should be a fourth? Cruel's got the, the opportunity. Is... Yeah, Cruel's next. Cruel's got another follow-up push that's about to come, and uh, if if he gets it right, with it, he needs more hydras. He actually needs hydras now as well. Oh, oh, okay. He needs to be burrowed. He needs to be burrowed now. He needs to put those links back. Yep, there he goes. Burrow, Burrow the good split. The Excellent splits at the ramp. Uh, I don't care how many observers you have. This is a dangerous ramp to come up. We do have more uh, hydras in production. Warp. There's a warp prism going into the main of Cruel. Oh, thank you. Uh, what's it gonna warp in? I think he's forgotten about it. Yeah, I mean, there. shift, shift, clicked it over there. Uh, he's fighting. I don't know if I'd fight without the circus. Let's keep an eye. Oh, there we go. The small warp ends here. DTs and Zealots. Where's he going? He's going for the. Uh... Oh, is he trying oh. to pick apart the spawning pool? Cool. What? Where's Cruel going? He's pulling everything back to respond. Did he all army key that? No, but he moved his locusts to the other base and left the gold unprotected. Interesting. I can't say I understand it, but maybe he's got a higher level of... He thinks he thinks the Protoss army's down there, but it's not. It's in the middle. This is where I would send a few things one at a time over there to... Oh, there he goes. First station up. pit finally on the way. And this is a tough position, because you kind of want to split up your army and handle all locations at once, but if your whole army's not in one position... You know what's going on. Cruel, Cruel can zealous. kill that army. Cruel can actually kill that army. He's got the army advantage on him at the moment. Him, the, the him killing that natural is just started to pay off. I wouldn't pull the lurkers, but uh, he is responding with way too much here. Uh, however, Senpai Ness is not responding to that properly. He, he he sent off the decoy, but he didn't strike on a second side. And here comes the DTs again into the main, and again it's going to pull Cruel back. The thing is, He's Cruel can. There's no detection. Oh, Cruel's pulling everything back again. It's starting to uh, frustrate me that he's using the whole army key. Hey, I mean, it's a tough position to be in. It is. I don't want to judge him too harshly. And there goes the lurker den. A good pick. He needs to morph in a couple lurkers right before that goes. But he's not as he throws down another hydralis den. Uh, another hive. Hive is just now being created. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, however, plus 3. Three ground weapons is being researched for the Protoss. The Protoss army is starting to get to that number of Archon Immortal that it doesn't matter how many Lurkers you have. <laughs> I don't, I don't he, know if there's ever a... It, he needs scary. Hydras. He needs more Hydras. He just needs to... Here he we go. needed to Here push we go. This before. might be it. This, I mean, it might be a little too late. But he's gathered. The the, no, the Protoss is going to go for it uh, the other way. It goes from the other way. Oh, God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might come down in the next few moments. Who turns around? Who doesn't turn around? I think the person who turns around loses. There What's it is. Going? There's a turnaround. Oh, he's decided that wasn't the spot he wanted to be. Come on, get your lurkers in position. Melt everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Senpai Ness is looking like he's going to try to save his home. He's up against a lot of lurkers, a lot of hydras, and a handful of lings. How's this going to go up? What's this going to look like? Lots of mortals oh. in this fight. Mortals DTs. and the mortals are melting. Actually, no, 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 no. The, um, the Overseer got taken out by feedback and there's no, there's no Overseer's there's left. There's no detection. Where are the DTs? There are, there are, he's morphing in DTs. He's recognized. He's recognized it, but has, has crew recognized it? Is he morphing in any Overseers? No. There are, there are so many DTs, they might just do it. He's got to go home? No, he is. No, he doesn't have to go home. He does not have to go home. He's pulling back prematurely here. Um, He's still in a good spot. That's the defensive DT. Oh, look at this overseer. Okay, okay. So what happened? What happened was he fed back the. Uh, he was waiting for Storm, but Storm didn't finish when he needed it to. So he fed back the overseers, and the overseers died. Mm. All right. The cruel push. Cruel push now. He's just got to push. 
On this side, Ness needs to get in all the warp ends. There's the High Templar. He's got Storm. Uh, we are dealing with light units. They're going to take a lot of damage from this, but it depends no, on the engagement. No, on the Templar. It's no Templar the energy. The Templar energy. Do they not start with enough for one Storm? No. Oh. G and GG. G he didn't say GG. He said lol, but GG. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fair enough. This has been a fair. He's been a very friendly player. I'll take that lol from him. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. It went from two players remaining for each to 2 1. Cruel has a chance to finish this off or send it into an ace match. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see now who uh, Confed has. Um... Nobody, nobody has won two games. The entire all kill. No, that's it. That's exactly right. I was it just is... saying, about to say the same thing. This is anybody's game. This has been back and forth. Now, if it goes back and forth in this order, GNR takes it because nobody gets two wins. And they need two wins. This next person has to all kill both Cruel and you. Who says I'm playing? Who's the other man? Is Skaxis here? Yes. Or is who's playing? I don't know. We, we actually don't know. That's why do you think I went in the chat before? <laughs> you keep going I nearly, I ne yeah, I nearly went in then before, and then uh, Cruel's like, I'm confident I'll take it. I was like, oh, and then. Like, because I played in the last one, so I thought I'd let Cruel take this one. So if it comes down to an ace match, I don't know who's going to play between me and Cactus, but um, I guess it, it'll depend on who they send out here, too. See, I'd bring in a Confed caster if Ice plays. Is that playing? Why? Who wants the confed cast? I don't know. Uh, Rabinac said he would play if his voice wasn't a thing, so I'm just letting confed know that I would I will bring in another caster if you end up playing. I have no problem casting with the other team. Anybody and no, everybody can enough. try their luck at casting because you don't get any more you don't you don't get any more um, starting than this. Like if you right, so the... what's that? Oh, sorry. I was gonna say was if you ever say... wanted to cast, now's your time. Now's your chance. Yeah. Screw it up now. Yeah, exactly. All right, so um. One thing we're going to look at is we're resetting the map pool. We are. So this player that comes in now... Kira. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh. I'll be back in two seconds. Hang on. Uh, you, you're not playing. Get back here. Oh, uh, he's gone. Kira, I, uh... Great. And Ice has apparently some secret stuff to say, but... Uh, good. Uh, strong player... Confeds. I don't know if it's Confeds number one, but it's the name I recognize. So, a very exciting match. I'm very excited to see how this goes. That last one was so crazy. It was back and forth. It was cruel. Then it, then it was Raven. Uh, hmm. Raven X. Raven X. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see this one. Ice is already says bring me back. So let's bring him in here. All right. All right. All right. So we see Kira coming in as their ace. Um, I like it. <laughs> Kira's tough. Unless you went over there telling the secrets of Kira. Um, I didn't have to. They were already saying stuff. Um, Kira, but, um, Kira, the Death Note holder. The wielder of the god of death power. Um, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't um, an anime reference and I'm just a super nerd. But I don't know. I just know that he's... Um... <laughs> I like him as a player. I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> what do you think? Once once the game starts, um, let me tell him right. right uh, wait, 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 wait. Is he playing Terran? What is he not Terran? Wait, 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 wait. Kira's playing Terran. Kira's a Protoss. <laughs> 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 I was like, maybe Ice knows what he's talking about. Let me just type this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into this map. It's going to be Frozen Temple, Cruel versus Kira. This is the last match. And it looks like Kru Kira hasn't been playing enough it's to not the Masters. Last it's, not, it's not quite the last match. If, because if, if Kira wins, then it's an ace match. If Cruel, Cruel wins... Yes, it's the last map, if Cruel wins. Yes. All right, so... Frozen, let me try it again. Frozen Temple, possibly the last map we play. Can Cruel bring it home for GNR? Is Kira going to hold it down for Confed and force out the last Masters out of our team? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, spotting at the top. Left-hand corner, the last hope for Confederation. <laughs> wait, oh, wait. Oh, gosh. There we go. The last hope for Confederation, the blue Protoss, Kira. And his opponent, spawning in the bottom right. Uh, it's Artilzerg representing Guns N' Roaches on the verge of winning 
second game in a row, the only person that would be doing so, it's cruel. I gotta get your I gotta get your excitement up to this, man. Yeah. I I'm all like in the top left and you're like, hey guys, I'm spawning over here. Hey, that's not a forge. Now I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> is he cheeky? Is that what we gotta worry about? Is that what well, we I told have? You, we have a spawning pool you. first. I told you he's one of my favorite players. Did in the you scene. did you go over there and tell Cruel to go spawning pool first? No. Oh, okay. I just said it was Kira. And then they just said, okay, well, I know what I'm going to do. And I said, okay. All right, let's see it. Now, kid, now I love this. I love. I hate it. I hate it and I love it. Protoss has this ability to just deny our, our natural. Look at this. He's just, I'm going to be cheeky about it. <laughs> Hi, Probe. Nice to see you there. Oh, did you want to expand? Am I ruining all of your wonderful timings? Oh, oh he's going to lose the probe. Oh, boy. And they got the pile on He did. And Cruel knows better. He's going to go over to the third and plant it anyway. Which is... This is the thing. This, this sets you behind. As a Zerg, you have a plan. You have an order. You are well practiced. And when this happens, you're all for your no plan. Gas yet you're all for your order. We're going, There's a guess. Okay. I want to see Zealot all in. It is going to... Uh, well, it's Kira. So it's going to be a charge on Archon all in of some sort, I guess. You guess. The Roach Warren. I don't know. Roach Warren. Cruel's quick, done. That's a very fast Roach Warren. Cruel's done his, yeah. He's done his 21 Roach Warren build. Uh, what happens in the 21 Roach Warren build? Um, well, you pretty much stop most cheeses. Um, and it gives you a chance to be aggressive too, so. So, what happens if we prepare for a Kira cheese, and he plays as standard as economically as possible? <laughs> if that happens? We, do we lose? Uh, no, no, this build here, this build here is meant to be aggressive anyway. So, Cruel's going to be aggressive either way with the Roaches. Oh, the Lings get passed. Oh my god. That should not have <laughs> happened. Uh, there's a probe doing something on the other side of the map. I don't know what that's doing. But... He's, he took a mineral and he's, he's moving across, but... He's going to build something because he's cheeky. Right. Those Lings don't he's going to build a pylon. Done. They don't, it doesn't matter. There's a pylon about to go down on the other side of the map. <laughs> I like, you know, it's interesting, we get an Overlord right here, and the first thing anybody makes is an Adept. Like, where's the Stalker? Push the Overlord away. Okay, you know why you don't make Stalkers? I don't... Because of Lings. You don't make Stalkers because of Lings. Uh, if, if you see a Zerg that goes three hatch before pull, then you can open four Stalkers and just be a prick. And just be a pain. But Adepts are just too good. Like, I mean, eventually you'll build one to... Oh, what's he building over there? Gateways. This isn't... <laughs> More than one gateway. This is a four gate. Gateways. Gateways. There's no. Te there's no gate? other tech. There's Three just gate. no other tech, and there's roaches already out. <gasps> Come on, Overlord, hero, Overlord, and can you secure it for GNR as the roaches move out? This could be one of those weird. And I'm, which button am I for cruel? That's not the cruel button. This is the no. That's the cruel button. Okay. <laughs> Roach me... Warren on. I mean, Robo facility on the way, but there's Ravager out somewhere. I heard it, but well, there it is. He's not going to see this. He's way too far out. And I love the positioning. For the Overlord, it's where you normally go. And can he even warp in on the other side of the map now that Cruel's here? No. This is where alarm bells would be ringing for Kira right now. Took a direct hit from the Bile too, okay. Got another Ravager out now. Oh, don't do that! Don't walk in- Oh, okay, Overcharge is finished. And there's no more Overcharges left, actually. This might be just over. Ooh, takes his own bile, but the Lings are going to get that Stalker. Is yeah, but, okay, so the one thing that could save him here is that uh, Immortal that's going to come out. Um, Got to be ready for that Immortal. Is there... Oh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's and he's seen the, the he's Robo. Get the production. I would love, I would love to get this Pylon first, but he's, he's choosing oh! his targets. You've got to choose your targets massive right. Pile. He's just going to kill the probes. And this is he's a He's going to follow up. Because everything he's got is in these in these two gateways in this side of the map, and he's not even utilizing them for warp ins. He could just utilize them. Now he should be counting those gateways. How could you warp in three stalkers? You only have one gateway. What's going on? You should see something. He's not gonna see yeah. it. Yeah. Seventeen probes down there, Kirik. And Kirik can't afford to move out. Like, there's no way Kirik can afford to be warping in on the other side of the map. Because all it's, he doesn't know what's out the front here. There's another four uh, uh, Ravagers about to come up the ramp. 
They are pulling in great pressure. Those are great bile shots. Um, yep, absolutely great. You're not gonna this pylon is four four shots for a pylon. I think so. Yeah, but there's no overcharge anyway. Sub and ace core about to go down. That's a huge loss. There's no more no more tech coming out of there. No more adepts or stalkers. And another massive bile too. Get that pylon. There we go. He does a solid bit of damage there. It's a very tough position for Kiri to come back from. Uh, I think this is just who was cheeky or faster. <laughs> That's a great word, cheeky. Uh, I do. Lo I love. I absolutely love the two undiscovered warp gates on the other side of the map. Um, but this should be alarm bells for for Cruel now. He's got to know something's over there. And as soon as if he spots anything on the other side of the map. He secures the game. There's so much. This this tech over here is so important. There's a sentry over there. There's one sentry. He warped in a sentry. Why did he warp in a sentry? I think he was over beginning there. to push an attack and realized he couldn't. Ah. But right, the, now here we go. This this will be the final push. And Krull's he's moving looking out the for other it. Way. He's looking for the proxy. He knows it's somewhere. Now he's going back home. So is he going to look for it on the right side? I don't know. He needs it. He needs to catch this if he's going to really secure this win. Oh, he's uh, seen it. He's seen it. He has. All right. So that's gone. Uh, we do have a small army going across the map, but that's not enough to deal with what Cruel has. Uh, there's way too much. <laughs> there's your sentry. And there's your miles. Ooh, not enough miles. I was wrong. It's not four. There we go. It's been depowered. He can go home now. And I actually absolutely love that Kira was on the side of the map when that happened. It was excellent timing, excellent meta. He understood exactly where he needed to be. That was the tech he needed to save. Uh, is he going to try to get it back? Um, there's, yeah, I don't know. There's not a... No cybernetics course still, so you can only warp his zealots anyway. It's a probe on the way over there. Going to build a pylon, or is going to be over, on the way over there. Is there a probe going to the proxy? There was. I see the pylon going in between the buildings. That's a very because you know Cruel's gonna come back right over here, clean this up. Yeah. So this is Cruel's game to lose. Yes. Looks like he's gonna take the right side of the map here, um, getting any potential thirds that might happen to be up. Uh, he's continuing to drone up. He's on three bases. He's pulling ahead every second of the game. And we have a Cybernetics Core down. We have another gateway. A couple pylons in the center. And Cruel has changed directions to the center at the perfect time. Because these pylons will not be up in time. Will be up in time. Yeah. You can't fight that. At this point in the game, the mid game, you can't take that ramp. You can't push up here. Uh, it's the perfect choke point for your enemy to hold you when he's behind. But it's okay. There's three routes of power. And the, these are still slow. They're still slow, aren't they? They're almost finished up. Their uh, roach speed. He doesn't have a bang nest. I don't think he it's needs the it. Only thing. Yeah, maybe not right now. It's too no, many immortals, immortal and maybe. Yeah. Ling's take immortals, right? Yeah, but then you got the zealots and stalkers too. So many rocks. I love the choice of the rocks. Still no third from Kira. Like, Kira's. Does, Kira's does Cruel throw his army against army, us, though. or does he just no. pull back? No, no, no. Kira's not responding to this. He's not reacting. There he goes. He, was, he, he needs to stay around the pylons. I think a couple good biles and the pylons don't matter. Rule is take him. Um, he should... He's baited oh, him yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, but that's fine. He's not going to take the fight. He just yeah. He has no third. There's nothing you can do. He's overset. He's losing minerals, mineral patches now in his main. Rule has got the economic advantage by far. We're talking 47 to 37 drones. Uh, roaches are being produced. Hydralis den is going down. Seven roaches, four ravengers, evolution chambers. Uh, if we take a look at upgrades. Oh, that's cool. I had this little, I didn't know I had this. Upgrades, J. Um, it's just speed, speed, and warp gate. So it's yep. going to be down to this This one evolution chamber. It's going to get Kira's going all in. Warp gate? Stalkers? What do you see? He's going all in. Ooh, uh, that's, a good, that's a good army. Yep. And, uh, Krull Ooh, needs to work this out. Biles. I need to buy. Oh, I love the... I absolutely love the force fields. That's going to keep him in the game. And he timed them on the force fields. How do you feel about that? I don't think we saved any units. No. 
the battles need to be on the Protoss army. Um, scary part is that's a pretty scary Protoss army right now for Kira, and this it's is... just getting scarier. Like Kira's not going to take it that he's just going to go all in with this. Like that war prison is going to come across the map, and that's going to be. Oh no, we I'm have seven hydralis. We have uh, muscular augments coming. I would. I mean, if he comes across the map, I don't think he wins this, especially not with the defender's advantage, uh, not with cruel being on the defensive. Eight drones. I think Kira wins this fight. I think with eight. 10 drones, Kira wins this fight. Um, he needs to be... Cruel needs to be in position. I'm telling you. Um, Kira takes Krul's the third. I think Kira takes the third and he leaves. If Kira takes the third and he leaves, he regains and re-solidifies this macro game and evens out the score. Kira the cannot overcome the have... Ooh, Warp Prism is going to do a lot here. Zealots exactly where need to be in the front of the fight. One little lone stalker running around here on the bottom of the map. Skipping the third, kind of going to hold position between the third and the units to force this fight down. Um, Biles, Cruel. This there is anybody's fight. Those are amazing Biles doing a fantastic damage. Cruel cleans. Cruel's going to clean this up. Those Biles were st too stupid. Um, the Hydra is doing Still all the work they need to do in the air. I'm, I'm okay with Immortals at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, he should hold. He should hold. He should hold. GG! Well played! Congratulations, GNR, Confed, and all of us, actually, here, sitting here in the Twitch. Yes, uh, thanks for having me, and I'm going to go jump in there and celebrate. Yeah, you go I'll celebrate, I'll say goodbye. Fun. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for a fantastic series of an all-kill. Um, fantastic games played by both Confed and GNR. Uh, all of us were great. It's very close. One one win, one loss, one win, one loss. Uh, and Cruel held it down two games in a row to a fantastic final series between Cruel and Kira. Uh, I can't ask for uh, an absolutely better series. So thank you guys again. I hope we get to do this anytime. Anytime you want a caster, give me some notice. I'll come play your games. I'll come cast your games. Learning experience and all that fun stuff. Follow me, like me, whatever it is you guys do. Um, but last but not least go play some starcraft go build some friends Whew. next time i'm hearing from killer walk what's he saying gg next time grats all good games from chim you guys are fantastic i'll be around uh hanging out in twitch chat for a moment if you want to have any words but uh wow you guys are amazing so thank you good luck have fun go play some starcraft